Okay, I think everything is good. I'll wait a sec to get the stream going. I think... Blah, 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 where was that? Properties. My exposure is at 4%. That's a little dark, but I can fix that. Bing, bing, bing. Alright, so according to Twitch, we are up and going. So if you're watching this, I'm going to be playing the new Blair Witch game that just came out. A game that I was actually curious about until I watched a video of it via Gamescom and it completely ruined all uh, anticipation I had for it. Uh, but luckily, I've been dabbling um, with Game Pass uh, on the Xbox app and it was released on there. Um, so I don't have to buy it. So I'm going to try it. We're going to see if it's scary. Apparently it got like an 8 point something on IGN. So they were impressed by it. Uh, not that that means means much much to me, but fuck, I can't even talk. Uh, but uh, but we'll see if it's, uh, you know, even any good at all. Um, if you just give me one second. I need to get my shit fucking set up. And yeah... Just in case any of the new subscribers watch this, I want to welcome you to the channel and the community. And what's up, Almixi? Very good uh, first comment. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Give me the lighting, please. Uh oh. I think this is about as. Why? Why? Why does everything got? Why does things have to have issues constantly? Um, Almixi, let me know if you hear hissing. I think I fixed my Yeti. It was having a really weird, like, high-pitched hissing sound, like everyone was used to it. Thanks, I thought. All on my own. It's very good. You should be proud. And if you're not proud, I'm proud of you. Remember, Daddy's always proud. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to get my chat set up. Last time I had some issues. Yeah. I mean, you might hear ambient noise, because I have my window open, but I think I got rid of the high-pitched hissing. It was like, a, uh sound fucking dope okay so anybody watching this who's heard that before the fucking hissing that's in a lot of my videos the blue yeti is a usb condenser mic uh which i already don't like because condenser mics should not be fucking connected through a usb but anyway it'll pick up uh vibrations through the cord which makes complete sense to me but also, there's just this thing that happens if you turn the gain physically on it all the way down, it will create a hissing noise, which is really weird because I was like, oh, I'm going to turn the gain all the way down, and that's really good. And I'll boost the digital gain so you can hear me, and we can lower all that fucking ambient sound. Well, if you do that, I guess it creates a hiss. So I turned my physical gain up to about 50%. This is a tutorial for anybody having this issue. Turned my physical gain about 50%, and then in OBS, I turned my uh, digital gain to about minus 30 decibels. And uh, I was pretty happy with the recording sound, and I'm very happy to not have the fucking hissing sound, because that shit's annoying. Everybody's like, I felt like a dad who, who had failed. I, I'm doing these streams, and new people are like, oh, uh, you, you got some static going on, dude. And then like people like Psycho, my children, they're like, yo, I'm just kind of used to that by now. And I'm like... Oh, that makes me feel awful that people had to get used to that. So I fixed it, I hope. Oh, yeah, no, that's not there. That's that's enough to do. Why is my restream fucking not working? Why? Why? The only thing I understood there was gain. Gains, bro. I got to go to the gym tonight, too. So fucking I feel you. I feel you on that. Ooh, my chat's working. Okay, we can fucking play this game. So. Reiterating, reiterating again, I like, <laughs> I had found out yesterday I was awake for 24 hours, and for you younger folks, 
I know that's not a big deal, but like I'm 32 and I start going fucking insane if I don't sleep uh, as much as I used to love staying up for three days straight. Uh, so I had found out that I was up for 24 hours and I was like, I gotta go to sleep. I slept today till about 5 p.m., which is uh, not awesome. And uh, yeah, so I just woke up not that long ago. I got a, a fucking headache. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to get my shit together and I'm going to start my day playing a fucking scary game or hopefully it's a scary game. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Also, 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 I'm going to throw another thing out there just because I got a lot on my mind. Um, I'm playing off of a brand new computer. Well, brand new in the sense that I got it up and running finally and put some new shit in it. Um, and it runs everything perfectly fine. Super cool. You know, low CPU usage. But the power supply that I have... After I fucking found out about this, I looked it up. It's notorious for this. It has a thing where it'll think it needs it's in a high power mode, so it'll turn the fan on, and the fan will just go, Woo, and you check all the temps. Nothing is fucking running high at all, um, and it'll just keep doing that. It's happened on two games so far. So if it happens in this, I will fucking end the game and and play something else. It happened in Control when I turned on. Um, um, Ray tracing. And that game is fucking gorgeous. But as soon as I turn ray tracing on to high, uh, with everything on ultra, that fucking fan, like about an hour into it, I start going, I looked it up and fucking, it's just that power supply. So, no, not, not this power supply. Yeah, so I'm going to buy a new one. I already have two brand new power supplies I bought for this fucking build. Uh, the other one was a smaller one with a lower wattage. I put the higher wattage one in. So I was like, I want to be able to power... Um, uh, you know, a higher end video card, and uh, and yeah. So, like I said, I looked it up, and um, it it does not have controls for that. It just does that. So, um, I'm gonna buy a third one. What's up, Billy? What's up, Psycho? And uh, Omixai, he's been hanging out already. We're gonna be playing Blair Witch. I'm gonna say this again. I uh, I originally shitted on this game when I saw the gameplay of it. Wanted to buy it before I saw the gameplay of it, and now it's on Game Pass. I'm, okay, I'm gonna fucking say this. Mixer is a really good fucking platform for streaming, so far from what I've seen. I'm very impressed with it. The Xbox app on PC is a really good fucking uh, um, app for playing games. I like the way it's set up, and Game Pass is worth the money. Because this game just came out, I'm already paying for Game Pass, and I have access to this game that I would have not bought otherwise. So... You Microsoft Xbox dudes out there, Microsoft's doing some good shit when it comes to their software. Fuck, 2004 camera, guys. So, anyway, I'm going to play Blair Witch. I didn't have to buy it, which is fucking fantastic, so now I get to try it. Maybe, oh shit, let me check. Maybe the Quiet Man's on here. I've been wanting to play that, but I want to give them money. Fuck, it's not. <laughs> okay. Uh, sub hype. What does that mean? Okay. So, I've said all my shit. Let's just jump into this game. Let's see if it scares the fuck out of me. Let me know about audio before I get too far into the game. If the game's super loud or if I'm not, you know, if I'm too loud, let me know. I'm just happy I got the rid of the hiss. Psycho, I got rid of the hiss. Oh god. I already have Sea of Thieves, dog. I already got it downloaded. It looks fucking amazing on PC. I was looking at the- I just like sailed out into the sea and stared at the water and I was like, this looked good on Xbox. This looks really good here. Gerard Butler. And his fucking dog. Why is he Ger Gerard Butler? I can't hear myself talk. I need to plug my headphones into my fucking mic. Already scared. I have three drinks. Well, anyone who watches regularly already knows, but I got like three different types of drinks that are on me. Oh fuck, what do I. <laughs> I don't think I switched my. Uh, I'll wait. 
I didn't switch my settings. I think this is um, on Twitch and everything. I think it's still it's gonna call it some other game. I should uh, I should change that. Change it. No one hangs tags from a rear win or rear view. I mean, uh, somebody does. Sea of Thieves, yeah, I've I've Sea of Thieves installed. This is the first game I installed because everybody was talking about it, and I'm a big ass follower. This is a really small road. This is already scary. This car is silent. I have to confirm, dude. Jess, uh, hey, it's, uh, it's good to hear from you. It's a cyberpunk. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. piss some people off. Yeah, to be honest, guess we're both full of surprises. So, what are you up to? Uh, this is false advertising. I'm joining the search. Oh, wow. Okay. You, you think that's a good idea? Uh, why wouldn't it be? Nice 2002 fucking dog, you know guys. Never mind. You're right. Maybe I shouldn't have called. No, Jess, wait, wait, wait. No, I, I, I'm, I'm glad you did. Listen, uh, I'm almost there. I'll, I'll call you later, okay? All right. Just be careful. Very moody and broody. Not scary though. It's that kid from um, uh, Indiana Jones, the whole fucking hat. That's the best the CGI's looked so far. Is that in engine or is that actually CGI? Because earlier the CGI was fucking garbage. That road's like our big roads here. Damn. That's what I said. I said booby traps. Come on, boy. That's not the same kid. This is almost getting racist. Ooh, the sensitivity's fucking jacked. Well, looks like they started. Got a good blur effect. Okay, let's get moving. No, put that. Damn! Look at that picture. I think saying 2002 is a little. Uh, I think you're being a little too nice. Bro, open it. Let's find this kid. It's been through enough already. How do you know? Anthony, if you, if you stop pissing your pants every time someone mentions the witch and decide to show up, check the trunk. There is walkie-talkie in there for you. I'm going to leave you a photo of the kid we're looking for. Call Sheriff uh, Yegor on channel 2 once you get ready to join us, Greg. Mmm, you can move the picture a little bit? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Where's my gun at, dude? Anthony. First come, first serve. Yeah, I'll call landing once I'm in the <laughs> Sorry, Anthony. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, give me that. Why would you not take this? Damn, that dog's going crazy. That sounded not pedo. Piedo. That's, uh, that's, um, that's a fucking old, um, piano player, right? Piedo. Piedo. Like Mozart. This game looks a little better than it did, although the fucking, um, the dynamic range is a little too back and forth. Like, this game's really blurry, but it looks better than it looked in that video I watched. Alright. This is good. this is exciting. This is kind of like when I go out on hikes, man. Thin-ass road. You gotta worry about other people driving down the opposite direction about to hit you. 
and then, you know, coming out to the trailhead. This is nice. This is going to be like a hike simulator. This is my kind of game. Ooh, shit. What is this? Uh, wooden dildo, dog. Don't touch it. I'm pretty sure... Or I'm pretty much unaffected by most horror games, but a single jump scare from a non-horror game can really piss myself. Uh, and I don't understand it. Also, what's up? What's up, useless paradox? The S fell off your speedos. <laughs> gotcha. Collected items are stored in your backpack. You can access them by holding... And tab? I don't like this menu. He's garbage. Leather wallet. Hey Jess, looking good. It's like she hasn't aged a day since then. Who... Who talks like this? Who does that? Hey, 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 yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Can I do other things? No. Or tab, you dumbass. You have to hold it. Motherfucker. Alright. Move your ass, motherfucker. Let's go. Damn. I'm assuming, since no one's freaking out yet, that uh, the audio's decent enough, balance-wise. And on the note of what you said, useless paradox, I'm just gonna call you paradox from now on. Um, I it's I get scared from the dumbest shit in real life, but like scary stuff typically doesn't scare me, because it's all just so designed, so it's easy to kind of tell where they're going. Um, although I do appreciate just horror in general, but jump scares are really cheap. But, when you're not expecting it, definitely, um, definitely will throw you off. I feel that. This we saw in the Gamescom trailer. It was Gamescom, right? It's all blur. This whole year's a blur for me. Um, and I don't understand, because when I was down there, I didn't see that shit. You're a bit loud compared to the game. That's how it's, that's how it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to fucking just completely... It's just supposed to be me, not the game. Fuck this game. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll look into that real fast. Damn. That blur. He's like... Bruh. Wait. Oh shit, the controllers. Vibrating. Um, I need to unplug this real quick. I'm not gonna fuck with that. I was like, what's that vibration sound? Uh, no. I'm playing with a- no! I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard! No! Just let me die! Okay. I'm having so many issues. Balance seems fine to me. Yeah, see? Not if you shit a brick and scream like a girl, then I shit and scream from you screaming. That's how I am, dude. Josh, Josh, fucking big Josh, he's uh... He jumps to the dumbest shit, and he always jumps really late. It'll happen, and then he'll jump after. It's like there's a there's like a fuse that got lit, and you gotta wait for it to hit. But um, I've jumped from him jumping so many times because something scary will happen. I'm like, oh yeah, whatever. And then I look over at him, and he goes, <coughs> and then he fucking freaks out, and then it makes me jump because I'm not expecting that. This doesn't look too bad. Waiting any longer? It's called landing. Hold for walkie talkie. A phone and a walkie-talkie. Set channel to two. This isn't gameplay mechanics, dude. Ellis to base. Did you copy? Ellis, what are you doing out here? Joining the search party. Ellis, if you think you got some obligation to be... Oh, shit, I gotta switch my titles and stuff. I mean, Once I, I get to a point, I can... I'll tee Sir, I'm here to help. That's all there is to it. Bullets with me. 7 out of 10 dog shake sound. You know, it's pretty, pretty decent. You think you're up for it? Your, uh, health issues, they're not gonna be a problem? Sir, I'm not gonna screw this up. Not this time. Well, alright then. Whoa, why did I lose control of my looking around? Roger that. Over now. 
I have an ultra wide monitor too, so fucking like the peripheral is like throwing me off when I do this, because it's just a lot of blur. Um, supposed to say over, over. He's not in the military, dude. He's just some asshole. He's just some fucking dickhead out in the woods. All right, one second. No. Stream title. Um, the title is going to be called "You're Supposed to Say Over." Actually, no. Seven out of ten. Dog. Shake sound. Over. And then. Oh shit, you guys might hear me. Not cyberpunk. Blair Witch. And over on Mixer. Blair Witch. By the way, anybody watching this, I've changed my name finally. It's TLG Tasty Senpai, all one word on Mixer. So if you want to find me on there, that's my name. It was originally 919, which is my Xbox Live handle. I think we're good. I think go back to living my life. Let's continue the, this hike. So this is how miscommunications happen and shit goes fucked. I think in most cases that happens regardless. So you just gotta kind of embrace that. You gotta embrace the chaos. Oh yes. Beautiful. You know this uh this this whole blurring effect is starting to grow on me. It's actually pretty decent. It's just a bit much. I wonder if they did that specifically just to try and make the game look realistic, or if it's kind of like come into play later to create scares, because it would be smart way to way to do that. Tap C to call bullet. Oh shit, this is Bullet, your right hand dog. Listen to his barking and watch his body language. He'll be the first to alarm you of any trouble, but he'll need you to help to deal with it. Remember the way you treat him can affect his behavior later in the game. That's crazy. Stay close to him. Prolonged loneliness can affect your mental state. If you lose sight of Bullet, press C to call him back. When he's nearby, look at him and hold C to toggle the command wheel. Okay. Okay, seek. Seek. Yeah, buddy. All right, I'm going home now. Finally got rid of that fucking dog. He's just at home all the time, just ripping shit up. Embrace the chaos over. That's pretty much, that's my, that's my mantra, dog. I imagine at night it would fuck with your peripheral, which might be a mechanic. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm worrying, or worrying. I am worried about it. That's what I'm wondering, is, uh, if that's what they're, they're going for. I might be giving them too much credit, though. When they're building the engine, they could have been like, this looks good. We're taking a team yeah, that looks good. Wait, do I go that way or that way? Where the fuck did the asshole go? Come on. Come on. 
nothing. You guys know these ones are cursed, right? If you don't leave by nightfall, you dude. won't leave at all. Then let's find that kid and get out of here. Now cut the chatter and focus on the search. That guy's scary yeah. sounding. It was a raccoon. Now let's find the kid and get out of here. Sounds like the Fratellis. What was that? How do you play? Oh shit! I'm gonna check that place. Oh no. No! Three and ten yeah. search perimeter. Save the that battery. Like so far. Is that a thing? Hey, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. Let's happy we're out of the house. And Jess, I, uh... yeah. I'm sorry about earlier. You know how important this is to me. I know. Just don't shut me out, Ellis. Believe it or not, I'm on your side. Always have been. Yeah. Thanks, Jess. And call me if things get rough, okay? I'll be here. We'll do. something buddy Nothing. they do they always say that bro you this this dog is useless I like him I don't dislike useless things for the most part as long as they add characters or add something but when they're like hey that dog that dog's a mechanic that dog will find some shit oh yeah what kind of animal we got in here? Going hunting. Yeah, this dog's useless. All right. I think I just went in a circle, right? Okay, now nah, fuck it. All right. Cause that trail over there went around here. What went over here? They essentially just made a big ass loop. That dog barked as soon as I said anything. All right, you gotta, you gotta find me some shit, dog. That's the trail I came from, because I went right earlier. Yo, where's this kid at? Bullet. Bullet. Go in there. 
I'm doing more work than this fucking dog is. What'd you find? Let me see. Leave it, buddy. Now's not the time. Put, put it on the dog. That dog's eyes are dead. That's Peter's cap. Good boy. Peter. Can you follow the scent? No, that dog can't follow shit. Come here, boy. Sniff. Send the dog in. Yeah. yeah he's, he got in there. Alice to base. I found Peter's cap. Once it allowed me to fucking talk to him. Why is he asking a question? It's a good question. Negative. Bullet picked up a scent. I'm not risking him losing it. I'll keep you posted over and out. Bullet. Bullet, wait up. Shit. It was just a bush. I just walked through a bush and fell down like that. These game devs, man, wherever the fuck they live when they're making these games, they're just like, they don't know what the woods are. It's like they never walked out where some trees were at before. There's always like this weird mystery to them. Like, ooh, you're, you're on an alien planet and when you walk through fucking bushes, you're gonna fall through a, a goddamn vortex. I know as soon as they introduce the dog, it's gonna be like, oh, you can call him. He's gonna come back to you. I'm like, how oh, great. There's gonna be so many parts in this game where it's gonna be like, bullet, bullet, where are you? Bullet. Let's climb it, dude. Where the hell is he? That's a very good question. We're trying to find that out. No. Not We've now. been within this scenario for less than one minute, so let's just uh, chill out. Where the hell is he? Up now. Ooh, what was that noise? Okay, calm down, Alice. Everything's fine. Why is he freaking out? This guy's got schizophrenia or what? Is it spoopy yet? No. <laughs> this guy's just going insane for some reason. He's been in the woods for like 10 minutes, he fell down, and within about one minute of him falling down through a bush he should have never fell through, he's freaking out and telling himself not to be scared. Oh, well. Yeah, look who decided to show up. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just used to it out here. Okay, I can't be alone out here. Where is it, boy? Find something? Ah, so we're still on Peter's trail. Good. I think that might be the story. I think this dude actually like came out here to do some acid. It's like me and the dog are gonna trip, bro. We're going on a trip, you know what I'm saying? Going on a hiking trip. Oh, you know there was a kid that got lost out there like like a year ago. You might want to be careful. Uh yeah, I'm gonna look for him. I'm looking for Peter, you know what I'm saying? The cops ask. It got dark instantly. Bro. Alright, stop, phone. Stop. Whoa. Why'd the dog disappear? That's the scariest thing that's happened so far. Careful walking through bushes. You might die. Turned out the dog wasn't real the whole time. That's gonna be the twist at the end. There was never even a witch either. It's just the dog doesn't exist and this guy's sad. The sixth sense Acidago. Wait, was that a, someone calling? Hey, hey, not looking, not looking too bad, Jess. <laughs> yeah, you ain't too looking too bad. Anyone who's like truly interested in this game is gonna be so pissed at me. 
Shut the fuck up, man. Just play it. Can anyone hear me? This is uh natural. It's a natural bridge. Shut the fuck up. Uh less than that, but yes. I've had friends who've had like girlfriends or oh friends who've had boyfriends who fucking uh who have to like call their significant other more often than I probably would. I'm just like, god damn, but it's not even close to this. This is too close to home. Around where I live, there's three owls that live in this area, and they're really obnoxious in the middle of the night. People hear them, they're like, oh wow, owls. I'm like, dude, no, seriously. Two of them, one of them's a cuck, and the other one, it just watches the other two fuck. You can hear them. And then the third one's just like, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo, just like watching them. And the other two are going, it's going crazy. It's like when people are like, oh, they're so wise. I'm like, no, no, they're not. Also, I was talking when I saw, we see that dog glitch out? Yeah, they're noisy as fuck. They're so annoying. People are like, oh, birds in the morning, man. They're really annoying. No, owls in the middle of the night. Just going, hoo. Hoo hoo. Or like I said, when they're having their goddamn orgies. Is that a campsite? That's not too weird, man. This guy's never been the woods. We should have sent somebody who, who's actually, like, went out in their backyard once. Yeah, I think it still works. Ooh. Nice ambient music, though. That's good. That's a good touch. Yeah, dude, I'm falling asleep, too. I feel it. Ellis, maybe you should... No, I'm fine. I'll deal with it. I just need a little more time. Ellis, what you need is help. You could have managed. Motorist Botus. Ellis, I can't do this anymore. What? What is it this time? What, I wasn't smiling enough? Didn't say I love you for five fucking minutes? Jesus Christ, Ellis. Do you even hear yourself? Yeah, I can hear myself just fine. And I can see the way you look at me. Like I'm a Ellis fucking is a, loser. Is a, you know, is a little ten year old. To look after. Oh, why, Ellis? Get over yourself, Ellis. Be a man for once. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. She's got a point. <sighs> He's kind of a bitch. I hope you can figure it out, Ellis. I hope you can finally forgive yourself. I tried to help you, but I just can't be around you anymore. Go ahead, get out. Leave me the fuck alone. Ellis is a whiny bitch. You're looking, you're looking at me like I'm a fucking loser. Yeah, you are, dog. Dog, you are the biggest. Ooh, shit. This is getting too real. Come on, be a man. I hate Ellis's character. This guy's stupid. Ellis. Zeblevich. You, uh, want to see me, sir? Better yet. I want to introduce you to someone. Bullet? Oh my god, this is so painful to witness. Fuck you, mom, like wife. You. I'm taking my what? ball in now. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to fucking... If I can't have it, nobody Just can, mom. Dog, yeah. Yes, sir. Ooh. Damn. It's a little revealing. I'm going to be seeing that part of the relationship. What did I... Did I pass out? Boy... Boy. Can we add that to the the boys of what was it, 2017 or 18? The boy or bois and boy doesn't say over. It says copy, but it doesn't say over. That's gonna haunt you. Ooh, pretty decent lighting effects. It actually, like travels forward. Looks good. 
Oh, you can zoom in. I don't know why I never even tried. Oh, shit. Was it a chicken bone? Nice. Reach into the rock to grab the, the wooden dildo. Put that in your bag, since you're a hoarder. Chill the hell out. I'm really glad Lanning put us together. Oh, how did it end up back here? Cause you got, cause you fucking finally peaked on your acid trip. Hmm. There's a tape inside. Might as well see what's on it. Why? Why is he like this? Ah uh, yes, just like zooming in in real life with your eyes and torch. Every horror game has like a zoom in button. That's why it's like I tried. I'm like, oh, nice, it has that. But yeah, very realistic. The red tapes allow you to manipulate reality. Pay attention to the environment and objects both around you and in the video. Fast forward, rewind, and stop the video in the key moments to change their states and positions. Let's try that in practice, because none of that means anything to me. Uh. No, stop! This thing works like shit. And those buttons don't work. Cool. I thought he had his like phone out. I use my phone as a flashlight all the time. Oh. This guy's either the worst cop in history with the IQ and intuition of a banana peel, or that is a really good acid. It's a little bit of both. Trying to unscramble porn. A little bit. Although, I do think it's really creative that while I was looking at this, I noticed that the screen was zooming in. And I looked over and the fucking toy thing's over there. So that's a... Uh, that was a cool little little thing they just did there. This, this wasn't here a minute ago, right, buddy? That was... That was pretty neat. That was a good way to do that. Hey, did just... no, 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 this guy is still stupid, though. I don't Get like him. Together, Probably Peters. Maybe Bullock can catch a scent. Yeah, dude. Well, you know what to do, buddy. Put the camera down. Just like in training. It's you down. Like... It's down, dog. Yeah, you do great on the force if you weren't so stubborn. Hopefully the dog doesn't just disappear out of fucking the ether again. But relatively new. No, probably not something a nine year old could set up. Why not? I was setting up tents when I was a kid. Nine years old? You're really underplaying that. Why the fuck am I getting so emotionally invested in this? I don't know why you are. I'm not there yet. I just uh, definitely gave them credit on that little uh, scene. That was, that was actually neat the way they did that. What the hell, dude? Was that the textures loading in or what? It looked like it was just melting over there. What is it, boy? Phone. Wrong? I got my phone on my uh, on my wireless charger thing, and it's just because it's full, it just keeps flashing at me. I'm like, stop. First instinct, just destroy things. Fuck it. Uh. Okay. Bye. I 
This engine likes to pop things in and out a bit. That was the scariest thing I've seen so far. The dog was like, witness me. I turned around, he's like, Bruh! just ran at me. Nice 1990 Polaroid photo, guys. Still on track, buddy? Good boy. I'm right behind you. That's one thing in games that I think is, think is really weird. They really kind of downplay peripheral vision because anytime I get down from anything, I don't stare at my feet for about a good three seconds. I can't even imagine a time where I'd be doing that. I can't just ignore him. Not that that's a nitpick to this game. That's just something I see in a lot of games in general. And I'm just like, it's it's weird that there's like. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. God damn it, Ellis. I've been trying to reach you for hours. First the kid, and now you. It's like the only thing I do is chase after whoever walks into this goddamn forest. Where the hell are you? Uh, we, we went down Where the hell are you, north, motherfucker? Don't talk to me Sorry, like that. We went through that area. We you think for a single second I give a shit about we what you have to say? You're wrong. We're still on the trail. We'll keep moving north. For Christ's sake, Ellis, stop playing a hero. Just sit your ass down till we find you. Emmett, just find the campsite and head north. I'll look for a landmark, something to point you in the right direction. Ellis. Keep you posted. Over now. Yeah, bro. Hold on a second. I'm hearing shit. Yo, any Blair Witches out here? Oh no, no, I'm, I'm with you. I was listening to that guy, I'm like, why don't we do that? That was a really good plan. What's the matter, buddy? He's being a little pussy, that's what's fucking the matter, buddy. In fact, that's his new name, that's the matter, buddy. I'm the witch. Better now, bullet. It's weird you can't do anything with those. And he holds them at like the bottom of the screen. Alright, I think we were going this way. Okay, legit, that fucking in the rock moving bush. I thought it was a person for a second. <laughs> What's wrong? In the water, you didn't see that? No. What was in the water? Work, damn it. Scissors or scissors? Get a grip, Ellis. It's just a tree. Come on, boy. Did you get the fuck out of that? Stick close to me. Restream doesn't like mixer pictures emojis. 
What do you mean? I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck Almix I was talking about with the water. I feel like he was just seeing things, but now I wonder if I didn't see something. And then Psycho says scissors. I don't know what the hell that's about. Wait here, buddy. Is that a bunker? I guess we're not gonna find out. I'm gonna crack it, guys. You guys wanna sit here all fucking night? Alright. There was something like a person's shadow moving toward you in that fucking water, but it was gone after you destroyed that thing. Did you not hear the fucking steps in the water? I heard the movement in the water. I didn't see anything moving towards me, but okay. <laughs> Scariest thing that's happened in this game so far is you telling me that. I almost want to look at the stream and see if that's real or not. I, I told you, man, the peripheral thing in this game and the the dynamic range, I swear, is like a mechanic because they already did it with that uh that little toy in the in the background being there all of a sudden, which is uh really neat. But now I know that they're up to some bullshit with that. I'm fu I'm creeped out. I wasn't creeped out until you said that. I'm gonna put my headphones on. That's why I'm while well, I play with headphones anyway, so I you don't have to hear the speakers a second time. But uh, um, or again an echo. But um, it also warned in the beginning it's an omnidirectional game. What do you got, buddy? What's up, Ryan? Can I? Candy wrapper? Really? Come on, bullet. You can do better than that. Go on. See if you can find something else. Candy wrapper's pretty good. He's cleaning up the uh, the woods, as everyone should. I was supposed to go this way. I just kind of wandered over here. Okay, fuck it. I thought he went to the right. What's going on, boy? There's also another thing I'm really liking about this game, in the sense that like trying to keep track of your dog while it's running around and all the all the sounds it's making is a really good distraction for this game to set up scares. Hold on, dog. I just heard some shit. Uh, this is the Blair Witch game that just came out. The one I was talking shit about the other day. Uh, not what I'd expect in the middle of the forest. Then again, I wouldn't expect me to concrete either. Bullet! There you go, buddy. This is much better. Let's see. Wait, is that... It's Peter. I think I didn't see that, Peter. Ballsy move, kid. I think I didn't see it. See, I, I wanted to play it. I just, with, you know, anyone who knows me, fucking, I was ready to buy this game as soon as I saw it. And then I watched uh, the Gamescom shit, and I was like, eh, I don't know. But it's on Game Pass, so... So I'm definitely getting my use out of that. Ellis DeBase. Peter didn't run away. He was kidnapped. I found a tape. It shows the man who did it. Follow dog to the game. Look for his collar in the dark and your peripherals. It's high viz. Yeah, those tapes, they make things appear, but... There's no time landing. 
We have to find Might the kid well. who's in yeah. serious danger. Ellis, even, even if that's true, I, I can't let you go alone. We don't have much choice. Look, I won't do anything stupid. I'm just gonna find him and wait for you to catch up. Over and out. No, Alice, wait! God damn it! He was shot in those trenches I saw earlier. Come on, boy. Let's check him out. Is that out? The Iceborne demo? Super autocorrect follow doggo with the game. Yeah, that makes more way more sense. Okay, seek. Nothing there, huh? Oh, there we go. Right now. The video was shot around here somewhere. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to check that out. That's the one where you can fight the. Um, ah, shit! Which which one are you fighting in that? Is it Velcana? You get something for that, don't you? Seek professional help. Velcana is super fun fight, and you can fight Narga. I didn't know that. I thought it was just the Falcona fight. That's cool. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Don't you you get something? For doing it? Oh, it's a big old loop. What? <laughs> Is was that it? What's up, Wade? Been a while, motherfucker. Use the tape out front, mate. Where did you drop the ball? I already opened the goddamn door on accident. Uh, commendation pack. Oh, yeah, yeah, They've been here for so long they can't even remember what they once were. Barely conscious, barely alive. Someone could just walk between them and they would ever never notice. Uh, they don't hear anything. They are nearly blind. Movement can draw their attention if you get too close, but only light will uh, agitate them. Light causes them pain. Leave them alone and they won't pay you any mind, but make them suffer and they won't stop until they hunt you down. I don't mind. I make them share my suffering. Whew, that's some dark shit. Put it down, motherfucker. Alright. Well, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here yet. Where he dropped the ball. Use the tape out front. Oh, yeah. I gotta use the thing. New baby? What? Isn't that number three? C 
See fucking shadow water monsters? Blair Wench. sucks. So wait, what were you saying? Congratulations. It's awesome. Explains why you've been gone. Ew. Oh my god. This system's like really fucking annoying. Find the ball, motherfucker. Well, there's nothing, eh? Looking for plenty of Blair Witches out in these woods. I'm sorry. So sorry, eh? Okay. I don't think I was supposed to open that yet. Wait. He always says that. Because I need some kind of thing for this. Apparently somebody was getting ready to start a war out here. With these clipped in, uh, clipping through the wood, uh, fucking, um, what are those things called? They're not missiles, but, you know what I'm saying. That's all the Canadian fans offended now. Eh, if anybody's watching this channel who's that easily offended, I, this channel's probably not for them. I'm pretty decent about trying not to offend people, but, uh. I have a bad tendency to um, emulate things I hear. Uh, bu 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 Blair Witch was in Maryland. That's not how we talk, Seth. Ree! Wait. Do you got any stories? I don't believe in any of this kind of shit, but I love it, so. Okay, I'll mix I. What the hell am I supposed to be doing? Mr. Find the Ball. I get easily, I get easily distracted. You actively try to offend me. Well, you're different, though. Everything you say is offensive, so I'm like, I'm gonna offend the offensive guy. Stay here, boy. Okay. Okay. Try to keep the place the ball falls in real life in your depth of view. Mm, that's a good. That's a good. In. That's a good. That's not the right video. Oh, ho, ho. There it is. I tried to do that earlier. Didn't work. I guess I wasn't in the right spot. Bro, you cut your uh, your little little baby pinky. I don't believe in any of it either, so I have no really interesting stories. God damn it! I was hoping, I was hoping that you would uh you'd have something like I don't really believe in this stuff. But, I was walking through the woods one time as a kid, and some old lady was out in the woods, and she's like, Get the fuck off my lawn! And I was like, That's a witch! Nothing like that. I'll use the camera, blah, blah, I don't believe. Nailed it. Nailed it. Come on, boy. Peter's in danger. That's fine, I get easily distracted, so I need someone to keep me fucking in line. Plus, I just chugged an energy drink, and my, like, my brain's going like, right now. Let's get this out real quick. Let's get some scares. What do you guys say? Let's get some scares. I've heard some of the craziest, like, ghost stories from people who said they experienced them, but I'm like, there's no way that's possible. <laughs> that's fucking insane. I had this chick tell me one time that she was chased in the middle of the night by a dude with a chainsaw. I'm like, if that happened, I don't think it was a ghost. 
and I really hope you called the cops. Bro. This is the right way, buddy. Are we walking in circles, boy? Yeah. No, I, I pretty much got the got it all down right now, mentally. Aside from the places I haven't been yet. They essentially just made these little open sandbox areas. Made it dark so you can't see where the hell you're at, and then Bullet! It just teleported me. Where are you, buddy? It's setting me up for something. Come on, boy. Don't make me chase you. Bullet, where are you? This is so artificial. You could have done this better. Stop teleporting me around. That was lame. I'm not. I'm not stressed. I didn't know I was playing Lord of the Rings. I didn't know there's our fucking rock golem out here. I hear walking to my left. Bro, what are you doing here? Oh my god. Okay, apparently they're attacking me. Where do we... What? What was that thing? I don't know. This is going on forever, though. Pay attention to Bullet's behavior. His... Well, I was paying attention to his fucking behavior right there because there's some asshole poking me in the back. His growling will alarm you of danger lurking in the dark. During a fight, keep him close. He'll. That would have been nice to know in the beginning. He'll help you locate enemies, but if you left, but if left alone, will become vulnerable. I don't know if I'd call that a fight. That was just the goddamn um, Zephyr, fucking wind god, trying to get me. Um, which is like a, a daily occurrence anyway. It's like no, no big deal. You know what I'm saying? That's not saying. It's just like bah, 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 bah. and then every once in a while I hear. Like cockroaches. There's just cockroaches all around me. Clean this place. Oh, bitch. They think I don't know. But I see them. I see them. Whenever I wake them up, they stare at me. They follow me. The light. Keeps them That's Ellis' voice. Keeps me safe. They go on to the light. That's Ellis talking. What the fuck? Uh-oh. We're gonna get that big reveal. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Stop asking the dog questions. Oh my god. I'm getting stressed. They have a cave troll. Exactly. As soon as I saw the cave troll, I was like, alright, alright. Just ran off into the woods real quick. That thing's a pussy. That thing was gigantic. That thing would not be afraid of me. It's just like Bigfoot. Bigfoot wouldn't be afraid. He'd just be like, yo, little bitch, I'm about to truck you. Ooh, spoopy witcheroos. I hear nothing but barking. Pay attention to Bullet's behavior. The dog is fucking schizo. He has like 75 behaviors at once. This is true. Bro. Hi. You did good back there, just barking in one direction. While I spun around all over the place and got smacked in my ass. Apparently the, the rock... Which way you looking? Oh! Try to keep the dog close. Dude. 
That dog's just looking in any direction. Alright, I'm just gonna try and do this by audio. That dog is useless. Kill the dog, please. Sparks actually sound like one direction. <laughs> that, yeah, is that. Are you talking about the band or. Uh, the boy band? The little group of little, little boys? Little boys? What is it, boy? Can I get down with the clown? Dude. This tree seems familiar somehow. Yeah, it fell down in the fucking video, man. Okay, do I need to be like this far back? We're gonna watch the witch tapes, dog. I saw it. Do you see that? Seamless. Perfect. What, is the dog up there now? Heal. Oh hell. Oh shit. Here we go again. Gosh darn it, eh? We're so close. I'm sorry. Yeah, bitch, I copy. This weird white tree over here. You know which one I'm talking about. Where's the witch? Don't know, and the dog doesn't know either. He's just yapping to yap. Stay where you are. I see a new peripheral vision and depth of field and stuff is gonna be important. That's what I'm saying. That's the first thing I noticed in the game. The engine was like built around that. Let's go back, bullet. I like the psychic connection between both of them. He's like, I'm gonna pet the dog, and the dog turns like, yes. Watch where the hands go, man. Yeah, creep. So, my guy has been attacked by goddamn rock golems and spiritual entities twice in a very short amount of time, and he hasn't called anybody? To be like, hey, dude, this place is straight up Narnia. Don't come out here. Plot twist, this actually is just another Katamari game. Soon you'll be steamrolled by a bald forest. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Can you use the concrete shoes command on bullet at this river? <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just find that command real quick. He said to go back, right? Is that what he was saying? I'm not listening to this guy as much as I should. It's weird, you can see light out to that place. Uh, to the white tree, like the stump one. I don't remember where the hell that was. Find something, buddy. <sighs> Nothing there, huh? Actually, if this dog dies or something happens to it, it will be the least plot twist ever to exist with anything that has a dog in it. Dogs are a real cheap way to push uh, emotional uh, situations. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, you're dead now, such a good boy. That's a good little test, boy. Hmm. 
All right, yeah, let's go this way. That was a really good, good idea, dog. This is the bunker. Wasn't that tree up here? Fuck you, I'm legend. Yelp, yelp. Ellis to base. Uh, landing, where, where are you? Still under the tree. But, so am I. What? Are we talking about the same tree? White, leafless, uh, black vines all over? Yeah, that, that's the one. Well, look, this doesn't make sense. All of this. It's just ridiculous. God damn it, Ellis. It was a mistake letting you come here. You wanted to redeem yourself. I get it. And I wanted to help, but th this is too much for you. You're not thinking straight. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm crazy. Well, what do you want me to say, Ellis? That it's all fine and dandy? Because I sure as hell tried that, and it didn't work. Screw you, Emmett. I don't need your help. No, it's you who needs me. Now, I'm the only person in this goddamn forest who's even remotely close to finding that kid. <sighs> Emmett. You there? Emmett. God damn it. Yeah, I gotta watch her step. Why? This is seriously, this, uh, this is the last treant. Okay, we're good. To be honest, this Ellis guy sounds like a bit of a blame shifter. Spin to win, baby. <laughs> That's, that was, after a while I was like, wait, it just highlights anyway. Now I know what, what you're supposed to do. Yeah, dude, Ellis is not a not a character I really like too much, and also in that video, it sounds just like him talking. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like Ellis is the kidnapper Ugh. or something stupid. Be like, oh my god, I'm the bad guy. Ugh. And obviously, we have some kind of like interdimensional shit going on, or like different uh, things, or just fucking with your mind because the guy and this guy are in the same place at the same time. Oh yeah, I got a, uh, I got a thing. Well, where, 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 where. was the yeah, message? A message? But there's no reception. Message. Moving is always better than standing. Those. What's he saying? Those who don't move have 99% chance higher or higher chance of dying. Better start walking. Ooh. Donnie. Special offer only twenty or only today third piece of thirty percent off. What do? Sure, stop by my office. I'll show you how. It's a common problem among purebreds, Belgian Melanois, especially. But don't worry, it's nothing serious. Oh God, see the dog's gonna die. As a reminder, you should give him one five hundred milligram capsule twice a day. I just saw this weird video. It was of a woman with gouged out eyes standing standing in a bedroom. Then I noticed something. It was your bedroom. She'll take your eyes tonight. If you want to live, send this message to five other people. That's all right. Let's move it back an hour. Could you come down to the station? God, there's a lot of messages, man. I'll need to think about it. 
Okay. So what the fuck are we doing? Okay, seek. This seek thing never works. Silent Hill shit, you think? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful. Careful. Silent Hill is the best survival horror gaming series of all time. And my second favorite uh, series of all time. But yes, maybe. So far, game is bleh. Bleh. La video game is bleh. Okay, well, I already got into the bunker, so don't I win the game? Yeah, yeah. There's that one way with the truck. Did they say where to go? Since I'm constantly talking. Let's go Scream is now hosting you. Ooh, thank you. Blair Witch. So whatever the Blair Witch's agenda is, couldn't we just stop and talk about it? And if the Blair Witch is a thing, why are they using... Um, fantasy... Creatures... To dance around... In the, in, in the woods... To scare me? Scooby-Doo? We can drive tourism out here if we say this place is haunted. Bring out the stick boy. Shevmo is now hosting me. Thank you. They mentioned Ellis trying to redeem himself like three times now. I.e. he's done something bad. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They, they're... It's, it's a pretty big trope. That was the beauty of Silent Hill 2. It's just like... Revealing your character was done so naturally. The, the pace of those games are fucking amazing. Stop copying me! Chevy, say stop copying me. Search. Now loading. Buffering. <laughs> Troubleshoot. You're you're uh, experiencing difficulties. I just want to get out of this wooded area. I've been here forever now. And not like the woods, but like in this game, this like zone. I wonder if there's like a... I mean, I doubt there's an out-of-bounds. I'm pretty sure they got like a hard... Um, uh, boundary. But, uh... But I wonder if like you go somewhere you're not supposed to go, they can just like kill you off and be like, Well, you, you died. You should, uh... Stay on track. I heard the noise, but I'm not seeing it. Again. Okay, so it's to my right. I am looking. Don't say I'm not. Next time you see the cave troll, throw your phone at them. Bastards were immortal to any earthly damage back then. Oh, then bastards were immortal to any earthly damage back then. Gotcha. That's a... The phone is not earthly? What is that noise? Oh yeah. It's okay, buddy. It's all gone. See? This is like that one horror game. What was it? You had to collect a certain amount of things to survive. So you're like walking around, I think it's Slenderman? Was it that weird Slenderman mod game? I mean the phones back then were immortal. Oh yeah, they're bricks, dude. They were uh, like Nokia, LG, all that shit. You couldn't kill those things. Although, you know, I'm gonna say it, the Note 8, which I still have. I was gonna get the Note 10, but it's not worth it. This thing's still fucking perfect. Perfect. I don't have an issue with it. Nothing. It still looks great. I have one scratch on it because I was done with it, but on that... 
everything's great. So they're they're making some pretty good fucking phones. All right, we taking a break. This is a good spot to sit. Good as any spot. This is a nice uh nice place. But we got a job to do, motherfucker. Start to find something, buddy. Yeah, don't sit down again. Nothing there, huh? That is okay. <laughs> is there a time where it, it, unless it's like story based, it's done anything? You have the Note Nine. I've dropped it in the bath and everything. I believe after the Note Eight, they became water resistant. And I think because I I take my phone into the shower all the time. Because I'm such a piece of shit. I'm like listening to music or watching YouTube while I'm showering. Because I'm a fucking asshole. I think they can. They or at least the eight could be submerged in I think like six feet of water or three or something like that. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm I'm really upset that I unlocked this. Because I want to know what the hell this is for. It's like one of the first things I've done in this game is unlock that door. Okay, so, <clears throat> last thing we did, we went to the white tree, we talked to the asshole, and revealed that I'm a bigger asshole than the asshole, and then we fought the treant, and he's like, whoa, that's crazy, Doug. But, like, he's not as worried about it as he should. Has he tried touching this yet? Bullets. Look for the sheriff's body or something. Ooh, ooh. See, if you're correct about this one, I'm assuming you're looking at a walkthrough at this point. But we're gonna find it. Whoa. He's... No, I'm downstairs cooking. You don't got internet downstairs? Is it a separate dimension than upstairs? What are you cooking? Some North Irish stuff? I don't know what that is. I could make a potato joke, I guess, but... I'm not feeling it right now. No, Seth, I'm making borscht, okay? Oh, invisible walls get back to me when this game gets better. I hate invisible walls. Basic forensic training. Look for the dead sheriff. Basic forensic training. You know, I'd love to progress. I don't think I have a, a video either to use here. Seek. Find something, dog. I need it. I need this in my life. Oh, you got nothing. Anybody got any ideas? Been in the bunker. I don't think we're supposed to be there yet. Been down there with the ball bullshit. Talked with the asshole sheriff. Which he has plenty of reason to be an asshole, because my guy's a complete fucking child. My phone going off? Yes, it is. So, just so everyone on the stream knows, um... All Mixai is gonna eat some chicken with some fajita seasoning and some ibuprofen. So that's that's a good meal. That sounds pretty good though. Minus the ibuprofen, I don't eat that shit. Actually, I did have some earlier, but not not as like a meal. I'm not a savage. Wait, sea of thieves. Isn't oh. It was a complete wreck just a moment ago. Hold on. I know you're there. The case is is on. 
Come on. Hot on the trail. You said it. Yeah, my brain was sore earlier, so I had to take him. Say, the light. You already said huh? it. You said the light. This is the second time you said it. It didn't say say it twice. It said it said it once. Locked, of course. Break the window. Say the light. Uh, I could try the walkie. <sighs> No, you're there. Please answer me. Burkittsville. The note it said something about Channel Three. Oh shit! You are, dude. This is the most helpful he's ever been. That dog's pissing all the time. He's worse than I am. Uh, the light. <laughs> what? The headlights. Turn them on. Why? That's him. Who is this? It's you. Hello? <sighs> Why the hell not? The headlights turn them on. Oh, time to find the dead sheriff. I sound like a robot. Hey, who? I have to look for him. No, look, it matters. No, good job, buddy. Check headlights or turn your torch off. Oh, I, th I think I got it. Check this out. I'm on the case. Stay here, buddy. We mean stay here. Get in the car and leave. This place sucks. Oh shit. They're having me look up. Then they're having me look down. I'm gonna look up. And some bullshit's gonna happen. Another missing person. Officer Wilson was notified of disappearance of Todd McKin Mackinnon by Adam Brown. According to the testimony, Mickelin. Uh, was supplying him with timber, but he suddenly stopped about two weeks ago. Brown was unable to establish any former contact with uh, Mac and Cheese. 1830? Uh, is that the year? The initial search yielded no results. Mac, Mac McKinnon uh, could... This guy's... I think this guy's from your neck of the woods. Um, could not have been found in his home. McKinnon has no known history of mental health problems. Currently examined hypothesis, deliberate disappearance. McKinnon's neighbors claim that he was frequently visiting the defunct sawmill of Tappy East Creek Timber Company. That's straight off, this smooth, rough right tongue, in the Black Hills Forest. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Uh, just one, it noted I nailed that, but the delay got the win. Yeah, yeah, that's what they, that's what they all say. Salem era. Yeah, yeah, it would be about then. Be about that time. The fuse panel is located underneath the steering wheel. To identify a potential problem, please check the following. Oh god. I gotta fucking fix this? Yeah, put the key in. What are you looking at? Like you've never seen one before. No battery. I should take a look under the hood. Oh, no battery. Oh god, okay. I guess I'll fucking do not do this damn shit. Oh, this car doesn't work correct. They don't make them like they used to, ha! Find the hood. Greetings, my beloved listeners. 
I'm so glad you could join me on this very special night. Do you know what time it is? That's right! It's time for our annual trivia challenge! Today's question is... What has you done, Alice? It would have been... Looks like we have a winner! It's someone who knows the answer all too well! Congratulations! Your prize is on its way! Good night! It would have been better if the voice stayed the same. That voice was way overdone. Ask the dog, it might know. What the? Is that is that the lock that I opened? Yeah, I think it's the door I opened already. I told you guys I was gonna crack it. What do I gotta do? The fuse panel is located underneath to identify the potential problem. Please, blah, 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 blah. Fifteen, ten, fifteen, ten. So I need another what? Fifteen? Where do you get the shit? Let's see, ten, twenty-five, twenty, twenty. What am I trying to do? Turn the fucking front lights on? 20? I already have that. More mental foreshadowing there, did you miss it, Seth? Miss what? What the fuck am I trying to do here? Yeah, what about it? What is that thing? I can't see the symbol. That looks good. Looks good? Go. Well, let's do it. Hello, buddy. Now I'm really losing it this time, aren't I? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Oh, 
was an interview about insanity and her saying one in 20 people send some time in a mental ward. Can't be a coincidence. Yeah, and then before that, she said the fucking, uh, you know, the whole what have you done, Ellis. So he's totally a fucking piece of shit. Too much trope. Yeah, there wasn't much to catch there. This is just all kind of uh, pretty straightforward. I just don't... It hasn't revealed what specifically, but we already know Ellis is going to be some kind of piece of shit. It's already showed him in the beginning be kind of an asshole to that girl. Uh, for anyone to be sympathetic to him would just be a child. Stay, stay, stay. Why is it? <laughs> Talks just underwater. Um, like I was trying to like convince it, like he's having a conversation. Stay, stay, stay. Come on, please. It's a dog. You got to be assertive with it. It doesn't understand reason. Oof! You could do that better or not at all. I'm not trying to be that much of a dick, but Jesus Christ, that looks bad. It's freezing. It's, it's not that cold, dude. It's not that cold. You're not even up to your dick yet. That ain't bad. That's when it gets bad. You're like, ugh. That's when you just jump in. Oops, saving. Something bad's gonna happen. Smoke. Up before the dog. Nope, I found it first. Well, if I don't get you, they sure will. One of the dogs gonna be like, oh, I found this for you. I'm gonna find shit. Dick and neck are the worst part. Oh, for sure. What is it, Bullet? What you find? Sheriff, dead body. Alright, good boy, good boy. Then move aside. Is that, why is the screen bouncing around so hard? Blood. Looks like Chris's blood. It's okay, buddy. I don't like it either. Where's the fucking dude, yeah, man? Because we'll be on... he was out here during the day. Fuck. And you're in a different dimension. That's why the the squiggly monster tree exists. And he wasn't. Or, no, he did talk about that part. We were just. I don't understand. I do. He got Blair witched. Ew! They yanked his teeth out. Landing. Oh God! Oh, you know you deserve better than this. Fuck! And the killer oh, skinned his face. Clean cuts, probably post mortem. Skinned his face. It looks like he got hit in the face by something and took skin off. Yeah, it looks like it went boom and then rip. Neck wound. Deep. And his head is. Oh, God, it's barely hanging on. That looks pretty decent. It's not. It's on there. Lenning's badge. Oh, no one deserved it more than him. Why? You're bitching at him earlier. You're like, God damn it, I hate you. And he's like, Shut the fuck up, Ellis. Stop acting like a 10 year old. Yes, psycho killer. Casque say. Lenny was tough. Experienced. Not that tough. It was surprising. It had to be somebody new. Yeah, it was me. It was Ellis. What the hell? Clean incisions. <laughs> nice thirteen hundreds triage skills, guys. He didn't even mention the eye. Pretty gross. Pretty fucking gross. Alright, well we're gonna climb up these rocks and we're gonna walk that way until we find civilization. Cause I'm done with this shit. We got a video!
Yeah, that was Ellis talking. You're the killer, dude. You did it. Not in this gloom. The whole thing? Yeah, it's Ellis talking. And if it's not, it's the same voice actor. Plus he's with this dude, he knows who the hell he is. What were you doing here, Sheriff? Getting killed by you. This is no longer just a missing person case. Come on, Bullet. We gotta finish this. It says come, Bullet. Not, for not come on, Bullet. Stick to the script. He threw it? What, you think I'm gonna do, like, some forensics on it? It's, it's the, the shovel, baby. Fingerprints, dog. Let's solve this case. Sheriff Emmett Lanning. The guy who cared about everything and everyone. Even me. We really side eye, but never gave up another one. Wonder who those people are. Oh shit, you guys remember this from Gamescom? Shovel, whatever, same difference. Grab the brick. Grab the sugar he used to kill him. Alright, watch for the tree, guys. Wait, what? Where'd all the water go? Is this really the right way back? Either I'm going crazy or... We already were crazy as soon as you walked, like as soon as the game started. You're hauling ass, you're going like 40 down a fucking uh, single lane road that someone else could be driving the opposite direction down. You obviously don't care. No caution. It's all about you, you goddamn sociopath. I thought that was the dog for a second. Oh, World War II helmet, love it. Run, Alex. Run, Alex. What the fuck is this Vietnam? What the hell's going on? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's the tree right there. Game's coming, baby. Okay, it's such like a young and modern voice. Shit, no, not now. Come 
Why did I teleport? I saw that. They used that way too much. They're like, hey, I want you to be over here. I hope you know where you're going, boy. Why is my vision so fucked up? This is wild looking. This is the acid finally wearing off. Ooh, Fabien. Fabien. I'm très bon. Something wrong with your vision, you should get that checked. Dude, that's what I've been saying about my own vision my whole life. Um, okay. Do whatever you're gonna do, because I can't look. Currently, every time I go to look, teleporting my vision around, so... Shit. He is. He's absolutely coming down. Oh that was abrupt. He didn't even fall down. He's just sliding all of a sudden. The guys who made this, if they ever see this video, they're going to be so pissed at me. Like, you fucking make a video game. I'm going to say no. I don't want to. Oh, ho, ho. We got a picture. Look at this shit. That's a good one, too, though. That was a really good picture. We had a real photographer take that one. That guy is... Oh, that was God of War. That's that part where Kratos starts punching the wall out. Stuck. No. Lose a couple LBs, dog. It didn't even tell me to do that. I just had to. Strafe left and right. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody is. Glad somebody's enjoying this. Just, dude, just come out. We can talk about this. You don't have to be all weird and creepy. Stop being a pussy. I'm stuck. Time to get naked. Take off those clothes. It's it's hard to move through narrow spaces with all that baggy ass bullshit you have on. Oh, hold on. Excuse me, Blair Witch. I have a message to take real fast. I need to look at this. Oh shit. Sorry, this is brand new technology, Blair Witch. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Oh shit. What's all this? The prize. Hey, I keep getting bumped to your voicemail. Anyway, I was just calling to, huh, I don't know why, really, been thinking about us a lot lately. Well, that's not a good time. Go, go fucking think about that in your own time. You're avoiding me or still running around the woods? Anyway, I was just calling to, huh, I didn't I read this shit? Call me when you can. Bye. I'm not gonna. You're no good. You have one new voice message. Where's the voice messages at? Oh, shit. What, 27 hours over the hell? 47 hours? I don't remember. I know what you're talking about. KGS, you mean. KGs? No. You have He's gotta lose them LBs if he wants to get trim. Something here? What? All right, let's go.
Okay, I've been walking through the cave with the wiggly view for so long now. Watch out for boulders. It's a mechanic, you gotta dodge. Yeah, that's why I was like reading it and seeing if there's supposed to be a code. The last part was H E R E, and the first part was like E I something. But I wasn't paying attention until towards the end. Off the record, Alice. There's like something here. What the hell happened? You responded to a robbery call. When you got there, you Maybe saw it was them there. The that would make sense. There, here. You got your gun. You told them to stop. Because I saw E E I. Was it a weapon? No. And then what? Well, you know what happened. This is on me. Adam Shannon. Peter's brother. I don't know what I was thinking. I was the last person he'd want to see. For all I knew, I could have crippled him for life. And yet, I felt there was something I had to do. Had to, but couldn't. What in the hell? How did we end up back here? Because they do what they want when they want. And by they, I mean the devs. Here we go. Oh yeah, I picked up my phone for a specific reason. I want to see how long this game is. And then I started looking at all my social media bullshit. Okay. Uh, how long is Blair Witch game? Now he's getting military flashbacks and ABC designation codes. Yeah. Maybe he's just out here with the PTSD fucking killing people. Kidnapping kids. Typical. Typical. This game's only... This game's only six hours long. Interesting. Textbook. Marius. I don't know is there anyone out here named Marius.
I was looking up how long this game is. One of the articles I saw, I think it was like Games Radar or something. They're like, Blair Witch is scary, but the bugs are scarier. Yeah, I mean, I kind of get that. This game is pretty buggy. I don't think they're that bad, though. I'm, I'm joking about them making... I'm, like, bitching about it, but... I've seen way worse. The game's not broken. I don't want to sit here and defend the fucking game, but... Boy, you don't want to step in one of those. I saw the dog disappear earlier. Why not? It might be a fun experience. As Psycho said the other day when I was playing Quake, fucking... Just, you know, a little bit of failure might, might be a good thing. Get a different kind of experience. I feel like I just went in a... in a fucking, um... circle. I feel like I'm in a loop? Am I not? What's over here? It's a Roman name. Yeah. Most of those names with the, uh... that kind of ending would be. Lucius, Darius, Marius. Yeah, chill, bro. A dog tag? What is No, no, that's impossible. Yeah, let's move on. This is impossible. A positive, man. That's pretty common. There ain't nothing special about that. What commonest, dude? Cobbit it. Ca ca can cardabitus. Like I said, you can just add that to the end of any word. Or name. What the fuck is this go? These woods are dumb. And the seek option doesn't do anything. That's why this game is a six hour game. All this walk around bullshit. And why the fuck would there be railing right here out of everything? It's making me afraid to go up to Mount Rainier tomorrow. I mean, Blair Witch is up there. Yelp, yelp, went here. I just want to shoot something. I just want to... I, this, this first person perspective is just bringing out the worst in me. I'm ready to go. Pow! Fucking headshot. 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 Hey! I know this area. It's him. It's you. Buried something nearby. Let's find it, buddy. Shit, this is boring. What is the fun stuff? Oh god. Theodore McKinnon, my father, was a lumberjack. When I was a child, he would often take me to the sawmill in Black Hills Forest to tell me stories of the monsters and witches who lived there. I returned to that place almost 40 years. After almost 40 years, it looked exactly how I remembered, except for its haunting 
emptiness. No one was telling the stories of fearsome creatures anymore, critters anymore. There was not a single soul to pass the legends on. The logging company disbanded and the old sawmill was left to rot. But I could not simply let it be forgotten. Not before it revealed its secrets to me. Not before I learned what drove my father to take his own life. Why, because their circles they're better? I was up in Leavenworth a while back. They had like a dog chain maker. You can just make your own. In all shapes and sizes. You could have got crazy. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so. Over here, perhaps, is the good angle? Maybe? Mayhaps? Is that not the rock? Oh, there it is. Is it? Is that it? Another one. Dildo. I'm an adult man saying that shit. It looks the same, but older. A lot older. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because this is back. This is this is later after you did all the killings. Okay, we'll just stand here. They used to put them on a shoelace over here, a green lace with a brown and a green tag. Wait, they used to put them on a shoelace over here, green lace with a brown and green tag. Hmm. Am I looking at the wrong rock? I feel like I need to watch it in revert or like pause at a certain point and make sure the rock doesn't fall. Maybe lift it or some shit. Maybe I got this all wrong as well. Maybe I'm at the wrong angle. Is it that one? It doesn't seem that big. Jesus Christ, dog. There's a lot of shit in the background. On the it's like a rock wall. And that's flat on the ground, so this is not it. Okay. Um so it's not here. Somewhere else. I'm cooking you on your own here. Been on my own. I'm out here alone in these woods. I thought it was here, but then the more I'm looking at that, it does not look the same. This ain't it, Chief. I don't want to play Control, but again, that's one of the two games that the uh, power supply doesn't like. And there's no way I'm playing like that. 
It was fine the last time I played, but... There's that what-if factor. It sucks, because I have, like, a really small case. It's, like, the size of, about the size of an Xbox One. Um, so it's crazy the amount of fucking power I'm getting out of it with how small that thing is. But at the same time, I bought a really small power supply that doesn't even fully fit in the slot in there. So I could definitely get a bigger one. It's insane how small computer parts you can buy nowadays. This has got to be it. It has all the markings on it, it just doesn't look the same. But where's the flower? I mean, obviously the flower wouldn't be here, but... Come here. I hate that if he's within your proximity, you can't tell him to seek unless he walks up to you like this. And then you have to initiate it, and he's gonna fail to seek. Cause he sucks. Alright, let's watch this one. Nothing, eh? Yeah, because it never, it never is. This is why this game is six hours, which isn't even long at all anyway. Because you're too busy walking through the woods, looking for shit. Not being scared. It's one of the reasons why Fear is one of my favorite first-person shooters of all time. Because it was a really satisfying first-person shooter with awesome fucking guns. Awesome, awesome physics. Some of the cooler early AI that I still haven't seen anyone really try to replicate. Um, again, awesome physics. Really cool setting. Really cool story. And it had scary parts in it. That game is so good. In fact, I should install that. Although it probably looks pretty dated now, which sucks, because I remember when it first came out, it, it was just like beautiful looking. Have bullet dough. Okay, so my dog, the kid I kidnapped, and me. Got it. Yeah, these, these pictures suck. They're just really, really bad. You find that witch yet? N no, not yet. I'm thinking I'm the witch. I'm just trying to find the location to watch this video so I can fucking, uh... Reset the, the timeline with my time powers. I hate when the dog does that. Oof! It's gotta be here, right? But the scenery's not the same. Oh, here it is. We found it, fellas. This looks like the plant. What'd you find? Okay. <laughs> this looks like the what'd you find? <laughs> that's <laughs> male witch, that's woke. Tappy East Creek Timber. Go Company. woke, get broke. I've seen this logo before. That's where landing was going. It's worth a shot. Maybe we'll finally get some answers. 
We're not gonna get answers, man. Bullet! Take a good long whiff, bullet. It's important. That a boy. I hate Ellis. He's such a bad character. And I feel like I'm supposed to hate him. Although they're really trying to pass him off like he's like out here being the good guy. Go, motherfucker, let's go. Everything he says is so stupid. Take a good long whiff, bullet. Post-apocalyptic. Shut the fuck Elijah up. Five, do you oh yeah, constantly, dude. Hello. Anybody there? Anyone? This, this, this is Ellis. Over. Can anyone hear me? What, dude? What? Another one? No preference, dog. Oh, we're in Fallujah, baby. Elijah five, come in. It's a bad day in Baghdad. Elijah five, do you copy? This is No, you're not real. No shit. No shit. Alright. Give me a gun. Let's get to this. I'm ready. I'm flanking, by the way. This is... This is the smart route to go. Ah! The fuck? Monarch, this is Foxtrot One. We're surrounded, sir. There's at least four of them. Over. What the hell? So Fox this Trump isn't one. where I was Monarch, at. Run to the next position. Avoid contact at all costs. See, last time I just walked out there, and this wasn't loaded yet. What is it, boy? Something wrong? Assuming the twirling bushes are bad. Yeah, bin lid. Am I not at the fire? I've been moving towards the fire. So this is very, uh, very low stress situation. That's how the buggy ass walking out in the fucking middle of nowhere. Oh, Reggie. 
Shells landing. That's that's definitely what it is. Damn, it's just like the Get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Where you at, homie? I know, they, they keep falling and hitting, they've been. They just did, uh, when your comment came up. Where the fuck is homie? Where you going? Oh, move slower, motherfucker. God, these sound effects are so bad. I hate this part. <laughs> this is stupid. Yeah, I switched it earlier, but apparently it, um, didn't. Luckily, only two people are being lied to on Mixer, and I'm assuming that's you and Psycho. War. War never changes. Sound pretty calm to me. What am I stuck on here? God, I hate this vision bullshit. Vision shit's annoying. Alright. 
I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Good boy. Good boy. Let's get that test, bud. They really got crazy with the Blair Witch property. I didn't think I'd be sitting here running through fucking Fallujah and goddamn dodging tree ants and bush monsters. You guys gonna come after me? I should go this way. Wait, is that a railroad track? Let's see where it leads. Well, I 100% dislike it. I think there's a lot of weaknesses to this game, but I mean, I wouldn't be playing it if I was bored. How the hell did they get here? And it disappears. I'm just glad this is on Game Pass, because fucking, I'm glad I didn't buy this. Ah, fuck, I always do that. I just want more scares. This game is just too much trying to tell a story. I was listening while Final Fantasy, so not really sure what's going on. Uh, I am out here looking for a kid, and while out there I was uh, coordinating with the sheriff and some other people and trying to find this kid, and then the sheriff ended up getting killed by somebody that I'm assuming is me, and I'm still trying to pursue that kid while also, I'm assuming, having uh, PTSD-style um, problems and flashbacks of uh, war that I assume Ellis was in while battling the idea of what's real and what's not. And there's a dog here that keeps peeing. But other than that, it's not, it's not, there's no point to it so far. None of its options really do much outside of just go, hey, I got a dog. Ooh, can I ride this through the fucking dumb place? It's the one thing about these kind of games I always enjoy is just like um, the journey of it all. As long as they're creative. Oh. Is there not another option? Wow, this is dark as shit. All of a sudden. Direction lever, power switch, forward, backward, brake lever. Uh, I can't see anything. There we go. Endless peeing. It's very disjointed. If you're gonna focus this much on narrative, it has to be easily followed, and this isn't... I feel like it is pretty easily followed. It's. I think it's being on purpose vague, because it's gonna have a reveal. But so far, we know that he... I'm assuming he uh, is a vet, and... Oh, shit. I didn't see this. Oh, fuck. Uh, 
Um, he's out here looking for the kid. And he's going crazy because of the Blair Witch stuff. Being manipulated. I'm assuming he's the one doing all the killing because the same voice actor is doing the voice acting for him and the guy. I don't need that, do I? Okay. Um, yeah. I was sitting here thinking that I have... One second. Sitting here thinking that I have nothing to play, then it hit me. I haven't finished Witcher 3 DLC or AC Odyssey. I have an unopened copy of Skyrim next to my TV. Unopened copy of Skyrim in 2019? How do you have that? Um, play some AC Odyssey. That's a game that I kind of regret I haven't played more of. But as I was playing it, I was like, man, this game is too big. And then that's been like the meme. After I thought that, like, later I started hearing a lot of people say that. I'm like, okay, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I think you're going blind. Yeah, it was really, really dark. But it's viable. Oh, oh you can probably mean invisible. A mile away. What's coming, so why? That's the thing I'm kind of weirded out by, is if I am correct, or we're correct, because we're pretty much all on the same page, I think. Um, it's being too obvious. So either it thinks people are stupid... Or there's more to it. Oh, wow. Let's go, blood. They call him blood. Let's go, blood. Let's go, killer. Ooh, I didn't know there was a lot of commemoration out here. Stop giving up permits in the 60s. This is ancient. I, I kind of want to play something a little more involved, too, though. I'm going kind of crazy with the whole walking thing. It looks like some kind of a winch. A kind winch. Of turn it on. A witch winch. Looks like a winch. Ooh. I'm so sorry. Why? Why are you sorry? You found him. Now you can give him back. Yo. Break it. Break this fucking window. Oh yeah. Alright, here we go. Now, uh, it's pretty basic, actually. First, uh, you need to ignite it, like, like this. Alright, then, now the donkey will begin to pull. Okay, so pay attention to the Wait, which, what Witcher 3 DLC? I'm assuming the two that came out for it. Reason I have an unopened copy of Skyrim's because I bought it, misplaced it, and only found it recently. Oh. It's like a brand new game. We just got a new delivery. Come to the maintenance shed to pick up the parts you wanted, Pilgrim. Whistle safety valve, pressure gauge. Pre oh my god, I'm having PTSD now because this sounds like fucking what I do. Except for the whistle part. Well, whistle valve. Whisper valve. I got that wrong. It's in your mind. It's not the same. Alright. So I'm supposed to do some horse shit right here? But the handle's missing. Ah, it steam's escaping. You don't need the handle. You can you can use a bunch of shit to fucking something can be screwed onto this pipe. I don't wanna fuck I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna remember that. Too heavy to push aside. I don't know, I feel like you could totally roll that. Oh, I don't know. That'd be a little heavy. This part right here, that's a little fucked up. I thought that was Sheriff 2.0 under there. Eh, I think you could roll this over. Because of the downhill curve, I think you could do it. 
Wait, so what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Sea of Thieves cough. I don't know, man. I hopped on there. It was a gorgeous looking game, but it seemed exactly the same as I remember it. Which means it's 100% awful, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just the worst thing ever. If you listen to the tone of my voice. Alright, let's get the fuck. Oh. Bye. Are we good? Are we clear? Where are you? Oh. Oh, yeah, whoops. God damn it. There we go, full speed ahead. I'm having PTSD flashbacks because of how bad his PTSD flashbacks are. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. Yeah, I, I feel it. Stick to the light, buddy. We should be safer this way. Wait, what the fuck's that? That's our stop, buddy. Let's hope it's still standing. Dancing, bitch. Keep dancing. What you got? Fuck with me. You good? Crude brood fucking didn't stand a chance. And this dog, I like how it's like, stay close to the dog, it'll help you. It hasn't, this whole fucking game. I hope that was sarcasm about Sea of Thieves. That was 100% uh, unadulterated truth, as my official, uh, it is not only my official opinion, it is the official opinion of all of TLG, everyone who's involved with the TLG Tasty Crew because of what I saw for the five minutes that I played, all assume that game is horrible. It has to be. The worst game on Xbox. But the the part the part where I uh said it felt the same, I yeah, I I have no way of knowing. From what I played though, I was like, oh it seems like what it did in the first game. Or not first game, the first time I played it. Steam Donkey. <laughs> Fair. See, I'm not wrong. All right, all right. I'm getting, I'm getting bored. This is getting boring. I'm out of here. I'm going to the next place.
As for scares so far in this game, I forgot I was playing a horror game. I feel like I'm playing like, um... I can't remember any of them. What remains of Edith Finch, or like, uh... Everyone's gone to the Rapture. I feel like I'm playing a game like that. The most impressive, coolest thing I've seen so far in this game was that toy part. That was pretty neat. Freak! Come on, buddy. Why is the earth shaking? Is that the west coast? They don't got earthquakes here. Off the way I got fight. Let's go. Let's go, pussies. Bring all your friends. Hmm, double trouble. I don't even know if they can attack from that direction. They, this is Alan Wake, man. They took this from Alan Wake. Actually, I'm not that guy. I won't ever say someone stole an idea like that. I'll just say that it, it is from that. It's the big one. I think I'm enjoying it because I'm watching it, to be honest. If I was playing, I probably would have gave up. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a couple instances where I've humored that. You... Worst case scenario, you go in blind. Okay. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we go in blind. Go in what blind? This place sucks. Where's the Blair Witch at, man? Too much busy work and walking for a little payoff and bad acting. I don't know if I go so far as to say bad acting. I don't think anyone's really necessarily bad. I don't think any of these performances are great either, but I think the writing isn't that great, for sure. This one is barely holding up. Let's see if there's anything to salvage. Who are you saying that to? One down, one oh, go. got it, got it, pussies. Um, yeah, who the fuck? Who, is he telling the dog that? Oh, what no? We just got a letter. I'm not reading it. I don't care. All right, let's head back. This is the way back, right? This fucking weird little trail I just found. Oh no. If I'm stuck, I'm done. Come on. Come on. Unstuck it. I know games typically have something in place that will help if you get stuck. Bro, get me, get me out of here. Seek. <sighs> Nothing there, huh? Nothing here either, motherfucker. This would never have happened in control. This would have never happened in Sea of Thieves. This would have never happened in Fear. A game that came out years ago. This is amateur hour. This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for the people who made this. Oh, oh, almost. I feel like I'm playing uh, Morrowind again. Trying to get up the, the mountains. Yeah, dude. Oh, 
Fuck it, I'll try that. Bullet. Nope, didn't work. Where's the bullet, bullet. unstuck me button? Oh, you falling asleep? That's boring? You tired? Am I not entertaining you with this fucking buggy bullshit? Oh no, they got bullet too. I don't know, dude. I don't even know when the fuck the last save was. There's some auto saves. Put me. About to walk out there and start kicking some dicks in. I'm starting to understand the system though, if you turn your back, that's when they, when they make their move. I wish I had a bullet do it. What are you guys talking about? Fuses, go figure. Worst case scenario, going blind. Fuses, go figure. Go figure, go home. Why is this place just like a wood scrapyard? Who's piling all this shit up? What in the fuck? Alright. Give me the thing, and we're just gonna leave. No one's gotta get hurt. Give me this. Give me this. I need this right now. Stay on the log. Stay on the log. No shortcuts here. You will be... Trespassers will be punished. That was dark and... Ambient music. You make me tired. I slept all day too, so let that sink in. Alright, time to get back on the the fuck yeah, the ride. Alright, bye. Bye bitch. Bye bitch. Wait. Why can't I buy bitch? You have to download that, don't you? 
would assume so. That's just part of the game. Wait, it's a big circle too? This whole game is just circles. Dark circles of the game. Need that that pipe, baby. I'm trying to lay that pipe. Locked. Again? This thing won't drive anymore, for some reason. It might be story related. Although, I'm the one who, that chose to park it here, not the game. I don't have options to turn it off or on, or change the speed. If I can, look at the directions. Oh, shit. Okay, I feel like... Good enough, buddy. Am I... Hmm. I don't want to go back out here. God damn it. This guy of hooves, I... You know, he's walking around with those antlers. That might not be, like, put on as a costume. That might just be him. Faster way I, can, I got down here from over here. Uh, you know, last time I tried to get creative with where I was walking, the game punished me. The game was like, no creativity here. Do exactly as as we say and tell you what to do, or else you will get stuck forever. And stop Heal. guessing about Ellis. There's no way you could possibly know he's a piece of shit. That is the big surprise at the end of the game. Vas over here. Oh yeah, it's the shack. Shack attack. I hate this log. I hate you. Is there a pipe as well on this bullshit? Pipe bullshit? Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. This is. Oh my god, I feel like I'm just wasting time. I'm gonna read this. That's what I haven't done. When I took the camera from the old fool, it was full of senseless chatter, but I saw it and I saw things it can really do. Through it, I can look into the darkness and see the creatures that lurk there without being seen. Through it, I can see the things that escape my eyes, and through it, I can gaze back into the things I have done. It won't let me forget. Yeah, that's me. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about myself. Is this a pipe? No. Is this a pipe? No. Pipe. I'm going crazy right now. I'm going just as crazy as Ellis right now. Seek. He's not going to do it. There's nothing to seek. There never was and never will be. Use the shovel where? Clippity cloppity. Going to make these witches go poppity. Damn. That's the saying. That's what they say. That's the old saying. You know what they say? Clippity cloppity make these bitches, witches go poppity. If he had a gun, maybe. It'd be a much more interesting game. It's just the one time in a horror situation someone just has a gun and just takes care of it.
the fuck am I? Okay. Hmm. Yes. There it is. There's the fucking log. There's the goddamn bastard. I need a pipe. I already got the the um, hand wheel for the valve. I just need um. Oh my god! Are you serious? Am I stuck again? There's not even a jump in this game. I was I was just going crazy on that earlier. Let me through. Thank you. Oh my fucking god. Oh, is there a way out of there? So, well, why would you design the game like this? Why would you have an area you can walk into and not walk out of? Oh, 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 oh. Almost got it. <sighs> Whew. Made it. Okay, well, they made a big deal about this whole thing. For no reason. And now it's not a object anymore. I guess I can ride the old train until I see something that might look interesting. Something pee-pee. You shall not pass. If it's so easy to get in here, why didn't the map... Why didn't the map it for walking? Seriously. I, I, I pretty much get what you're saying. <laughs> I, uh, that's what I'm asking, like... I mean, like, I've never made a video game, but I've I made a lot of maps back when I was younger with, like, Quark and shit for Quake, and, uh... I mean, it seems pretty basic how to make a map and how to make sure it doesn't have broken parts. Okay, so we've been to Camp B. There was a Camp A, I believe. Jump up. Jump in, bit. Onward. Oh, I want more caffeine. This is fucked up. Hold on. I was wondering if you could take like one of these fuses out and put it into the other one. Nope. It's garbage. It's straight garbage. Who made this? Was it Indy? I'm assuming it was. Although it had some bigger company at the beginning, because I think they owned like the, the license to Blair Witch. But this was definitely an indie developed game. Unless it wasn't. It's only six hours, so I think like a triple A company could pop this out pretty quick. They had like, you know, five people over working on it. I just wish this game was scary. Okay, so this is Camp A. Sawmill is up ahead, which is where I'm trying to go. Camp B is where I was just at. Is there any other weird shit to stop by? Maintenance shed. That's. Should be safer this way. I've already been here though, right? Yeah, it did come here. I don't think I got anything here, though. There's gotta be something here. Seek. Find the pipe. Oh, shit, what's that? Boring. something in there Fetch. oh shit we got it we got it about the fuses in the sheriff's car no that's way earlier this should do it got it 
All right, let's get the fuck out of here, finally. Jesus Christ. Although this was extra prolonged with all the stupid shit I was getting stuck on. Two times in the same area, different area, or different sections of that. Bad design. No excuse. Jump on. And we out of here, baby. Your work gonna check some pressure. That's what I'm saying, dude. This whole part is giving me PTSD. If there is a pressure valve, I will be checking it. Is this on PS4? Because if it is, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a PlayStation Plus game for sure. In less than a year, I'm calling it. They're gonna try and get their first. They're gonna try and get their sales, make their money in the first like three months, and then they'll think about them. They'll go, oh, do we need to do it? Do we need to do it? Do we need to take that sweet sweet Sony money? Let's go. Six boys. hour game like this, definitely, definitely an easy PlayStation Plus game. Epic Games will probably give it out fucking next next week. I'm joking. But those guys give shit out every week. I'm just up to 150. Some weak ass shit. Uh oh. Well, you're, uh, I gotta put stuff in here? This thing and try again. Done, without blowing the gauge this the time. What? He's just talking? Oh shit. I can't even see what's happening here. Is it going? track. Oh shit, I got a Oh, I lit the coal with the power of a of a camcorder. Yeah, when I played paintball, if you went above like 120 or 40, people got pissed. I would crank it up to like 160. Fill that CO2. I don't. I don't want to. It's my fucking three-day weekend. I don't want to look at CO2. I don't want to smell CO2. Onward.
you. Don't make weird dog sounds. They gotta work on that loading, man. That loading is a uh, real fucking pain in my ass. I can say you live and breathe CO2. Uh, you can't breathe CO2, but yes, I do. I do do that. Oh, except for on my three-day weekend, I ain't doing shit. Well, I'm going to the gym tonight. Thing. It was a very good one. I'm glad I, I paid to hear the. Uh. See, you're all talking about fucking Sea of Thieves. I'm playing it right now. I don't like him either. We'll be out of here soon. These things are dumb. I hate them. Like, they're just like twirling leaves on the ground. It's, it's such a stupid idea. that you exhale it. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. All about CO2. The joke works. Shut up. I'm not gonna shut up, but the joke does work. Kind of. Yo, Olmix, I how does Nomad Sky play on PC? Yeah, I was kind of curious about that myself. Oh, I'm bored, dude. This is not exciting. Gonna collapse. <gasps> Look up. Why are you looking down? Jump over. You alright, buddy? That's it. Red Dead Redemption 2. That's what we're doing. I think we're finding out the mystery of the Blair Witch, finally. Yeah, what? Yeah. Hey, Ellis, where the fuck you been? Yeah, no, no, I've been me. looking for you everywhere. And everything. Yeah, I know I'm not making any sense What's right now. What's the matter with you? That's the thing. Uh, I think I'm starting to lose it, Jess. Hey, I see things, and I don't even know if they're real or not. I... I, I, you I see how she responds, because this is a very crazy thing for anyone to say to anybody. I can't do this again. I'm sorry, but I can't. This conversation would never happen. Yes, please. I need you. You need help, Alice. If I walked out to Chevy right now and went Chevy, I think I'm losing it. I'm seeing shit. He'd probably look at me weird. Who and go, God damn it, Seth. This again. God damn it. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, I'll call you later. Don't apologize to her. Tell her to shut the fuck up. <coughs> overall, pretty legit. Game's just better overall in different areas to different degrees. Yeah, I, I assume so. I was gonna stay on PS4 playing it because PSVR. I have a vibe, but I don't have it set up. But like then I tried the VR and it's not it's not worth it. I wouldn't play that game with VR. And yeah, the whole time I was playing, I was like, eh, I think I'd rather play some PC, maybe. And then, subtitle, Screams of Fear. Bullet is the witch. Maybe. Screams in Blair Witch. As a language. What are we barking at? Are you actually going to do something? You done? I feel like they added a bullet after they made the game already. 
Because they're like, man, people are getting really confused on where the hell to go in this game full of trees and bushes. We need a thing to bark at them. Damn, that was a big one. This is it. The place we were looking for. Oh, I already gave it a try again. I played in VR. And it was decent. Someone's there. Yeah, some Jason Voorhees, motherfucker. Ooh, I should play that again. I've been wanting to play, uh... Friday 13th, even though it has no future, which sucks. And, uh... Dead by Daylight. It's just the story of my life. Just, I'm, oh, I want to play that. Oh, I want to play that. I need multiple versions of me. It's old, not abandoned. Who are you correcting? It's old, not abandoned. No one said anything. Oh yeah. Why are you running? While well, that guy was laughing, you should have fucking knocked him out. Barking for like a minute. There's no reason to be quiet now. So let's see if I can guess this again. Blood. I see up your pants, dog. That guy's dead. Dead as fuck. Fuck that game. You ma what are you talking about um um uh, Dead by Daylight, Friday thirteenth? Both of them. It's definitely better on PC. Each one is more twisted than the last. That I am that cool. If I saw his own pay attention, I'd be like, that's stupid. Move on with my life.
want me to cheat the code. Eh, fuck it. I was close. For the record, anybody watching the stream, yeah, I fucking cheated right there. I don't give a shit. The first one, I didn't even I opened that before I even found the thing. With my intuition. By intuition I mean luck. Wounds. Multiple cuts, probably a long blade. What happened to the other dude? What the fuck? Where'd your boy go? Chris's blood. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Try it, motherfucker. Damn. Let's be honest, we just want the payoff now, not the BS. Eh, yeah. I won't argue against that. I'm playing this game a lot longer than I thought I would. It's kind of gross. I thought he's left him there. Why is he asking bullet? Who the fuck am I? how much the camera's moving. Oh, God. Who else is going to talk to? A shrink, hopefully. But um bum That's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. That's what I thought too. 
I was like, why does this guy got the same fucking thing going on his bullet? Yeah, that was getting kind of weird. Can I look around? Nope. What are you doing here, Private? It was me, sir. What was? Elijah Five. I was the point man, sir. What are you trying to say, soldier? I led those men into the ambush, sir. Six dead, six grieving widows, nine orphan children, one negligent soldier. He should have been court-martialed. I couldn't stay. Not after that. It wasn't your fault, Ellis. See this knife? I remember holding it against my wrist, pressing it deeper and deeper, wanting to end it all, to silence the voices. Weak. Pathetic. I should have listened from the start. That's what set me free. You'll understand soon enough. Personal space, what the fuck's all that about you, pretty boy? Struggle cuddled you into submission. He did, too. That was really weird. Left? A partridge in a pear tree. Pear tree. He's a soldier, used it as a cape or knife. Well, I mean, I kind of gathered that. Hey there, sleepyhead. Then what do you want? feeling about this patient in for monthly appointment in relation to his anxiety neurosis seems kept in check again no discussion of the woods or his the friend associated with amnesia worsening i admit this patient's uh, patient is beginning to concern me everyone seems to have moved on but the fact that he does not talk about the woods at all is almost eerie he has become interested in hiking hunting was offered a scholarship out of state and but does not want to leave town. Something is keeping him here. He did too, dude. That's his. Uh, that's his dating tactic. Kills people to lure men, and then fucking slips his number in your pocket. Gives me the creeps. Not me. I don't give a shit about it. Oh, I'm very grateful that that was the only thing slipped. There were some things I was, uh, I was assuming was about to happen. That son of a bitch. Use the viewfinder, motherfucker. Listen, oh. Alice, this is nothing personal, really. I'd kill you right then and there, I swear. But she, she wants you. She didn't say anything about the boy. So look, here's the boy. Here's the knife. Here's what I want you to do. Go to the tree. You know which one. Gather a few of those white branches. Simple, right? Now let me sweeten the deal. Do as I say, and I'll lead you right to my little corner of the woods. So I can chat. Man to man. Fucking bastard. Wait, what the hell is this? What? The hell's what? 
are you talking about, homie? Patrick. Infrared. People always say there's no worse feeling than waking up after a piss up with less money and no memory, but it's worse to wake up with more money and a sore ass. I don't know. There's, there's, I mean, you made money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. How do you know? You're not even fucking here. Hey, buddy. What's wrong? You're just gonna walk away. Walk away? What the hell are you talking about? Blitzer binge lol a night drinking. Wow, well, no mean sky is still sixty bucks. Not worth it. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Some deep stuff.
Oh my god. Sadistic fucking Fuck cowards! Him. Just, just save the next thing. Where am I supposed to go? What is all the stupid bullshit you're going through? Where did he just lead me to? Deep stuff, then instantly goes, ha ha, but it's not in your head, or it's not in your loaf. What? He's really struggling breaking those. I wonder if he got his ass kicked. What the? You're asking hey, what the about this? What the hell is this? This thing bleeds. So Trees do actually bleed. Yeah, that's kind of a weird thing for him to be making such a big deal about. I mean, obviously the black shit's weird, but... Um, I see a trail I'm trying to follow. I'm not seeing these guys. What is it, boy? Oh. Command ball bag to stay close to you. He's tr he's triggering them. I'm just gonna leave him out here.
Yeah, the problem I was running into before is I was not walking on the direct path that wanted me to go on. I was walking to the right of the tree when I was supposed to go to the left of it. That's a very specific line. So I was triggering the guy that was over to the right of the tree. Because I was being impatient, because this is... This kind of shit's boring to me. Tracks end here. This is just wasting time to keep the game longer. Should I head towards the fire? is. Oh, saving. Something's gonna happen. Well, you got around real easy. Oh. Found the stag. Mmm. get fucking through this part. This is really boring. As soon as that guy got introduced, this just stupid. Good, good. Almost there, Ellis. Good, good. What now? What? It's a symbol. I want you to make one. You have the twigs. You have the skin. All that is left is to use them. So hurry up. Ugh, fine. Have it your way. Fucking nutcase. Satisfied? Not quite. There is one more thing. This one's easy. You've done it before. But first, let the mud sniff the symbol. He'll take you right where you need to go. How? You only sent he'll get as my own. Come here, boy. Bullet, buddy. Wait. You're not afraid of it? Why would he be? Yes, I'm already trying to go in. Go on, boy. Check it out. I 
I get that the dog is scared and doesn't want to move, but to have the dog run over there, lay down, and then as soon as you approach it, he just instantly is like, he won't move. It's really bad writing. Didn't even play it up or anything. Like, oh, what's wrong? We have to do something. He's just like, well, that's it. The dog won't move. You just found out. Can I crawl in? No. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. I'm sorry I made you do that. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm petting him. That is the plan. Tell me, Alice, how does it feel to rely on someone who killed your friend? Who do you despise more, me or yourself, for being so powerless? Keep talking. Before this is over, I'll make you pay for what you did. I used to hate myself. I despised how weak I was. I tried to fight it. I kicked, scratched, and bit, but that's all useless. Don't move. What? Again? Yeah, no, Ellis is a pussy. You see, Ellis, you do what you were told, and everything is simple, painless. And some things are just too big to be defied. We are like birds caught in barbed wire. The more we struggle, the deeper the spikes go. The only way to end your suffering is to surrender. So your only solution was to just give up? Okay. This is like a checkpoint system when you drop down. <laughs> So what is it? Another body? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, him trying to reason with him, then trying to threaten him, it's just like so fucking wasted. I, I, I don't understand. Because I don't like Ellis as a character, I don't identify with him at all, I'm suspect of him, and now when he's like talking about like retribution and shit, I'm like, you couldn't do anything. You want me to... to kill myself? Fuck you, no! Oh, it'll be quick. Think about it, I could've left you a knife. No, I will not kill Bullet! But this... This is where you draw the line, a fucking dog! I should've drawn one long ago. I'm not doing this anymore! Oh, you brought this on yourself. On the boy! Stop hiding behind a child, you coward! <laughs> God damn it! That's impossible. Bullet, no! Okay. What kind of bullshit we get into now? Bullet? Should have shot him. Bullet! Hold on, boy, I'm coming. Oh, God, no, please. Don't move, buddy. Don't move. Don't Better move. go get that gun. Go fish out of the bushes. Shoo, 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 shoo. That's gonna be fine. Shoo, 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 shoo. What happened? Oh, you're heavy. 
I ain't gonna even try and figure it out. I'm just gonna accept. Oh, he's upset. The table. Gonna have to take longer walks, buddy. All around the block. I'm not kidding. Good boy. It's okay. It's just. It's gonna be okay. What do you mean? What's wrong with them? He's just whining. Come on, game. Come on, developers. Make me feel for this. Can't just be like, oh, the dog's upset. Something's wrong with him. I know, buddy. Just a little further. Where are we going? Nothing's being established. Suplex him. I mean, it would make as much sense as what's happening here. I'm still curious about what the hell the the thing he sniffed was. He's like, it's impassable, and then he like sniffed that and ran off, and then got struck by lightning. Oh, this place. We've been here before. I haven't. You guys might have came here before. I've never been here. Yeah, I mean, I saw that. I just. He's just like, it's impossible. And then the dog sniffed and he's like, no! Like, what? Okay. Hopefully that's uh, at some point elaborated on. Otherwise, that was just kind of like a fucking Deus Ex Machina. Doggo Ex Machina? Not this again. We need the dog to run off, so uh, throw in some weird item. To grab another energy drink, get crazy. Oh, you always this heavy? Stop being a pussy. I have, I have no respect for Ellis at all. I think he's weak and a child mentally. I feel like if the if the roles were switched and Ellis was kidnapped and the little kid was looking for him, he would have got him a long time ago. Another loop. This oh, this is hopeless. Am I playing PT right now? What the fuck's going on? I'm trying to. Just let me put the thing down. Oh, I already tried stopping. I didn't try to turn around, though. You ain't gotta be in the military or fucking be a cop to have any moxie. Just not be a little weak bitch. I feel like there's gotta be like a spot I'm supposed to put him or something. I can't go home, buddy. I'm 
just said, yeah, I can't. But I wish I was stronger. I, I just, um, I, I need you to stay, Bullet. Okay, stay. His <laughs> head's clipping through a fucking yeah, rock. Oh, hey, my God. It, and then I'll come back for you. I promise. Please, just uh, wait for me, please. Where is he? Oh, there he is. As long as whatever the hell I gotta do to get this loop to end. You won't break me, you hear me? I won't lose to you! Whatever you are. Yeah, we don't know. This whole situation's stupid. I guess. I'll say most people I know who've been in the military are cops, they're just people. Say so I've only known a couple people who are into like fucking special forces type shit. Who maybe but like anyone who just joined the army? Cops, yeah, they're just like normal people. Don't let him see you. Who? Who are we fucking talking about? This whole part is so stupid. This to go and do something. This whole thing is getting fucking ridiculous. Whoa. He has no sense of like responsibility or situational awareness though. He's like a big fucking child. That's I've been saying since the beginning, dude. This guy, like when he was getting in the fight with that girl, all of his written dialogue was like childlike. I couldn't even identify like, oh, there's two two sides of every problem in a relationship. I was just like, I don't care what the fuck the issue is. You you sound like a child. Like who the hell would ever be with someone like that? So you could have kept walking with bullet. What like forever? Mm. 
work, damn it. Yeah, that's what I was curious about too, because like yeah, I feel like there's two different uh ways to go about that part. But uh I don't have the patience. That whole scenario was stupid. And then it's just like, oh, I'll keep walking. I don't know. This is literally like the beginning. They're like, oh, here's a story. And now they're like, I don't know. Just throw some weird shit in. Kill the dog. I do what the fuck I want when I want. I would assume so. I think it's like a probably a reason to replay the game. That's the big choice. one of two decisions that were vaguely offered to you because of a deus ex machina that happened. A.K.A. bad writing. Jess? I was it. Jess? Fuck. Weak. Yeah, no, I agree. What the? So you're still struggling, huh? What did you, what did you do with the kid? The kid. Oh my God, dude! About. This has got real stupid. Little man, I could have slit your throat and wear your skin. Then why don't you? <laughs> You'll have to work for that. You see what you've done? Try as you might, you can only do harm. No, you did this. All I did was give you a choice. You chose the dog, and now it's dead. I failed you. I failed you all. <laughs> now you have nothing. This is mind-numbing. <laughs> My brain hurts. It's time. Jess, I'm so sorry. For everything. If only I could- Only? If only I hadn't married you. If only I'd listened- Jess, please. I, I know I messed up. You killed them, Ellis. I don't know, because I knew they'd kill him off. I don't care about coward. Ellis. I mean, he didn't have a good relationship with the dog. It was never established. The dog had I'm no leaving, characteristics Ellis. to it. There's no time between you and the dog that ever mattered. It was just the mechanic that didn't work well. And then they killed it off in, like, the most vague, bullshit, boring way. And then gave you the choice to do that without actually having any kind of emotional input to it. It's just like, are you confused? We can get rid of the dog. No. No, not this place again. 
Why? I did everything you wanted me to! What the hell am I supposed to do now? Well, I... Okay. Bolt's fine. You fucking... You literally... <laughs> In the beginning, he's like, Oh, I'm glad we got paired up. You didn't have the dog for very long. This whole thing's so fucking forced. It's just playing off of people like dogs. They don't want to see dogs get hurt. Yeah, agreed. But nothing was earned there. It was fucking so uh, predictable. And it's just unearned. Nothing. We didn't know how it got hurt or anything. Or why it ran over there. It's just like, well, dogs are dead. Yeah, no, I, uh, I've gotten way more use out of this flashlight. Okay. Here, give me one second. I'm gonna go piss real fast. Uh, okay, yeah, we're good. <clears throat> Alright, so, you said something, let me check. Man, why is the exposure on this seems so fucking dark now? <laughs> it's worse now? What happened? Huh. Check something real fast. You said something. Yeah, agreed, but I also don't appreciate that feeling being forcefully pulled on for a reaction. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Um. Also, that whole scene was annoying because, like, I don't want to sit there and listen to a dog fucking whining because it's hurt for like ever
Like, that was the biggest incentive for me to fucking try and figure out how to end that situation. I was like, I don't want to sit here and listen to this. Okay. I gotta check something real quick. Because it's just a terrible noise, one of them ones you just want away from. Yeah, that's my whole thing. It's like, I can't appreciate or respect the situation that's happening or have any kind of a, uh, emotional attachment, but I can only sit there for so long listening to a dog whine. Like, I'm just like, okay, like, how do you end this? Because this is very unpleasant. It's like if I had to sit there and listen to someone get murdered for, like, a long time. I'm trying to figure out... God, this is the worst thing about having a fucking different computer, man. Everything's different. Um, I keep having issues with... Every time I reset anything on OBS, it will change my exposure on my video which is very annoying let me try one thing real quick get the fuck out of here afk screen why is it so dark Is it? <laughs> no, I have all that turned off. And if I turn the exposure up too high, it starts lagging and my audio doesn't match with it correctly. Because it seemed to change after like bright flashes in game that lit the room up. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it does it. I'm too far into the game now to really worry about this now, though, so I'll fucking I'll work on it later. Chevy told me I'm, like, pretty close to beating the game, so... I'm gonna press on, because if I can finish this in one go, that would be nice. Though I really would like to know where to go. I'm also paranoid because I know if I walk too many, uh, too many directions off the beaten trail, I might get stuck. Is that a way to go? Nope, that's blocked. That's blocked. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I've been looking into it, though. Um, I have this uh, Logitech, because I'm using a C920. Um, I'm eventually going to use one of my like actual camera cameras, so that'll up the quality, and I won't have to deal with Logitech bullshit. But uh, um, I have a, a separate app that messes with the features. 
And a lot of times if I use that first and then open up OBS, it'll take on its properties. Because OBS, apparently, when I looked it up, my OBS on my other computer didn't do this, but apparently it now has some kind of issue with uh, resetting your settings when it comes to your camera. Remix. Oh, there's the house. Good, let's go. You can still see ya uh, and all. It actually looks better because it's a dark game and your massive shining head in the corner would be distracting. You know, the shining part maybe is, is the most insulting thing. I do have a pretty big head. It's where all the brain is. Back door. I like going through the back door. If you know what I'm saying. What I'm saying. It's quite literal. God, fuck through, bitch. I saw this. I saw this. They show this in Gamescom. I didn't realize they're showing fucking the ending of the game. So what's this gotta do with the witch? You're saying you're gonna struggle cuddle the struggle cuddler. I mean, yeah. That's literally, that's my plan. If you struggle cuddle me, I'm gonna do it even worse to you. Waiting for a hillbilly to go, welcome to the family. Why would you put, why would you turn your light off to do that? Yeah, I was going to say, isn't there meant to be a witch in this game? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Maybe I'm stupid. I hear Blair Witch, I'm like, oh, witch, huh? I mean, it's going to be spooky. They should have called it something else, but it's smart because of the branding. People instantly in their head hear Blair Witch, and like, oh, scary, cool. But so far, this has been Fight Your Demons in the Woods. The game. In fact, I feel like I'd have a different expectation in this game if it had a different name. Like, I feel pretty confident in that. I feel like I would be looking at this game completely different. But I'm still expecting some kind of witch, woodsy aspect, and so far it's just been a dude struggling with his own... bullshit. On the hunt for a, a kidnapped kid that we don't know shit about. So it's just like, yeah, kid's in trouble. That's bad. I better save the day. I have a dog. Everyone likes doggos. I've seen the memes on the internet. Oh, that's going to die, huh? Oh, it died. Yeah, 100%. And if they had a completely different name for this game. I think I would have went into it and started playing and go, Oh, I get it. I get the name. But I'm like playing Blair Witch the game. And it's 
this. Although, they could make like an anthology series of Blair Witch games in which a bunch of people, like Silent Hill, go into the woods and have their own weird, crazy experiences. Which I could appreciate. Like we said earlier, we instantly got knockoff Silent Hill vibes, and it seems we had its number since hour one. Yeah, pretty much. I can respect some being influenced by it, but... You're never gonna make another Silent Hill. <laughs> Why do you look like a pirate? That one was different. The light just made it angry. That was this game going, Sea of Thieves, now out on fucking Xbox. On the Xbox app. You harm me, mateys. Oh shit, now we're gonna start doing the slow doors opening and shutting this far into the game? Come on, work. It never does. It never does when you want it to. So there's gonna be a part where there's gonna be a red dude on the screen and in the video I watched the person just looked down and walked past them and I was like why would that matter why would doing that change anything I don't know why the lights go out either when you grab this shit was that a battery <sighs> he's just as, as annoyed as I am This makes me want to play Death Stranding. The best compliment you can give any game you're playing is tell the person that when you play it, you want to play something else. Yeah, let's watch it. I found a little cool little uh, hole in the wall to watch movies in. It's like my own little private theater. Ooh, I like the cinematography. Someone's got that camera like this, and they're just... Interesting. You know what fucking game I love and I wish they would make another one? Me neither. I can't remember the name. I keep wanting to say Outlast, and that's not it at all. Even though I did like Outlast enough, I need to beat Outlast 2. What the fuck was the. Whoa, was something moving? Um. Condemned. Condemned was fucking dope. Techno Witch. She had some dank moves there. Was that a she? Looked like Davy Jones. He came out brrr, with his beard everywhere. Ahoy, me mateys. Let me bid thee fucking safe travels and fair seas. Peter. Peter. Piet Pietra. They showed all this at Gamescom. Why would you show the end of the game? Because they didn't want to show that you'd just be walking around the woods for most of the game? I should really let people who don't like playing scary games play these games so they can react, because I'm just like... You don't say. This is a new start for you, Alice. It gives you power. It gives you a chance to hold life in your palm. Your touch, you touch the twigs, and you run your fingers through their bones. You press them down, you break their spines. She watches you once you pick them up. She won't let you put them down, and her whispers become sweeter every time you clench your fist. I don't give a shit. 
Ask me if I give a shit. I don't. Fix it. Fix it. There you go. Do as I say. I am a god. Of not being able to open that door. That one didn't even suck in. It just... Did something. Melt to the ground. This is one of the more impressive parts of the game, although it's like been done. <sighs> yeah, I'm almost certain she was meant to be the witch with a beard. That was a bearded witch, not it. That was the most silent falling chandelier chatelier uh, I've ever seen or not heard. You ever played Alien Isolation, Seth? I, oh fuck, I played that game for about an hour or two. And it was when it first came out, before everybody was saying it was amazing. And I was completely blown away by how authentic it was. But I got bored. So I stopped playing it. And then, like, year years later, everybody's like, it's amazing. And I'm like, fuck. I should have played it. So I, sh I should go back and play it. Because, I mean, it's Alien, and it's horror. It's just weird, because when that game came out, it did not... It did not have the same... It took a while for people to appreciate it. Because I remember when it first came out, people were kind of like down on it. Like, oh, it could have been better. Oh, you should stream it. It would be a good stream. I, I should. I'll try and plan it. I mean, these kind of games... How long is it? These, like, six-hour games aren't too bad. There's certain games I don't like to stream. If it's like really story heavy and has like a lot of progression and systems and stuff, it's hard for me to want to do that. Also, competitive games is hard for me to stream because I play way better when I don't. I'm not being interacted with. Like when I'm concentrating completely, it's a lot easier for me to do well. I don't mind doing shitty in front of people, but I know I can play better if I'm not like. Typically, if I'm playing any game and someone like you know were to start talking to me, I'll prioritize talking to them over the game anytime. Same thing with the stream. So, certain games are easier to do than others, and like horror games aren't so bad. Although I guess I could stream and just turn the chat off, but that's not fun, so I do it for social reasons. Oh, nice. You are for her. But I, I loved the way Alien Isolation looked and the music and everything. It was really impressive. Like when uh, Colonial Marines came out, I was really excited for it. And then like I was like, Ugh, this game's shit. Like everyone. Then I saw Alien Isolation. I was like, these guys, like... If anyone's going to make an Alien game, it should be anyone who would at the very least make what they made. Because it was so authentic feeling. It felt like fans. Like, not dudes who were like, Yo, Aliens is cool, bro. Let's get some machine guns and shoot aliens. But, like, people who were, like, really into, like... You could tell they watched the Ridley Scott film and looked at the visual desi design, the aesthetic of the time era that movie was made in, the music, everything about it. And it was like, like, holy shit. Where... Oh, there we go. It's just too much. I can't take it anymore. I won't let you drag me down with you. Why are we still talking about this? This shit's been over. That chick's... Okay, he's an asshole and a piece of shit, but she's a manipulator. Because she keeps saying she's done, and then she keeps hitting him back up. So what she's trying to do is she's trying to shame him into doing what she wants. She'll keep saying, oh, I'm done, I'm done, this is bullshit, I hate this, I'm leaving, I'm done, I'm done. But she keeps doing it. So he has to conform to her wants and needs. Otherwise, uh, she'll keep, keep doing that. So their relationship's garbage. Oh, it's my old wallet. I pulled that up in the beginning of the game. That's his. Takes a couple hours uh, to get its sea legs, but honestly, you should give it a go. It's so you could use my ass as cigar cutter right now. Moments. Uh, yeah, she's a bunny boiler, as we call it here. Uh, that's actually one I've never heard. A bunny boiler. Oh, there's a trail on the ground. 
I came from here, though. Dude, fucking Caitlin wanted to go to the gym. I haven't heard from her. And then we're supposed to go on a hike tomorrow. And I'm assuming early. What the fuck is the goddamn plan? That's fine. I want to beat this anyway. Where did these windows go? That's not outside. Since you were in the military? I like the quiet. I like the quiet. Who cares what you like? People say, people say shit. As if people want to know. Told you. When I talked earlier, that sounded just like him. They didn't. Even, they didn't even try to mask it. Why are you recording this anyway? Bunny boiler, boiler woman who acts vengefully after having been spurned by her lover. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard that term before, but, uh... Sheriff. Makes sense. I, mean, I don't know if it makes sense. I don't know what the fuck a bunny and boiling has to do with that, but... Definitely worthy of having a, a word for it. <laughs> Dude, you didn't even build up to this. We're just gonna accept that that's exactly everything that was predicted just happened, but we're gonna showcase that in this fucking house. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't get to critique shit very hard on the channel very often, but here it is. Live. Are you a good man, Ellis? No, we've known since the very beginning of the game he's not. You look, you dead. I'm not supposed to look. Yeah, and by sneak past it, you just look down. You just look down and walk around the corner, because they show that at Gamescom. Where's the lines at? I'm not seeing it. Okay, there's the line. Where's it go? Yeah, that's... Well, I'm, I'm following it. Why the hell are you even telling me? Goddamn bunny boilers. Get out of my ass. This ain't it, Chief. Into the basement. This is just keep me busy. Just play all the audio at once. Just have him sit still, let me hear all the audio, and then just finish it. This is just like, oh, keep him busy. Make him walk through the house a million times.
tank. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Who was that? Adam. Alright, Adam. I actually close. What am I looking at? doll thing? I have no fucking idea. They're really stretching this ending out. Son. A local teenager allegedly involved in a convenience store robbery was shot by a police officer arriving at the scene. The suspect was transported to a nearby hospital in critical condition. Local authorities that teenager that was bald? The suspect was unarmed. Unarmed. So this is why IGN and GameSpot and other things were like, this was a really important message. Cops shoot unarmed people. Is that why they're excited? If it doesn't have something like that, they'll be like, the game's awful. There's no, there's no real message being said. Tetris doesn't have a political mes message. Why is he sighing so hard? It's fine, we'll figure it out. You don't gotta, it's, it's just the door. Kick it in. Okay, can't go there, can't go there, can't go anywhere. Back in this room. Let's go in here. Let's go down over here. Let's open this fucking door. This is neat. Let's keep going forward. Allegedly, we don't know. What, so the Blair Witch is just like this, like, uh, person who lets you know the bad things you did. <laughs> that's that's what we're doing. It's a lesson. We're we're learning lessons today. The player which is the good guy. What in the fuck is all that? <sighs> These are surprising you still? comes our handsome lad. Hey, is it true? Hey, shh. He's gone. Not him again. Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. See, and as we said, it's getting woke. <laughs> yep. She's a supernatural jigsaw from Saw. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that feeling. Freaking butcher. Oh. Sir. Sir. <laughs> what? Sir. What happened? Why'd you hit him? Ah. Oh. Sir. 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 You know this game. Fuck. I had some complaints about it in the beginning, but it was kind of getting interesting. This is just so loaded with nothing. Like, the end of something is the most important part. You can have something subpar have a great ending, and you'll come out going, wow. It works the same the other way there.
What happened? What happened to my flashlight? What is... Are those just like an oil field or something? This is not giving me shit to look at. Okay, I started here. I walked out. This happened. With all the dudes. No joke, it feels like one team made the first half of the game, it got cut up and made into this by different people. And kinda, yeah. Apparently you're taking radiation poison too, going off your Geiger counter noise there. Yeah. Which, like, why? No nuke went off. Nothing alluded to radiation. Okay, there's the trail. That is <laughs> the only time I've jumped. Uh, in the scary horror game, a gunshot freaked me out. I was ready to like, I literally like went, I was ready to click to fire back. <laughs> okay. <sighs> See, that's, that's, I have days, or from day Z I got PTSD. Anytime I get surprised by a gunshot in, in a game, and obviously it's not comparable to, to other people, but I'm like, Ugh! I seriously think it's meant to be rain. I don't know, dude. Earlier, there's really good rain sound effects. Like I was, I was like actually really surprised. You could hear like the sound that rain makes when it hits like a tarp or like a, a tent, and I was like, that's a really good sound effect. It sounds really crisp and, and detailed. It's one of the only times I was like thoroughly impressed with this game. I'm going to the basement for like the fifth time, dude. I could barely even see what that was, and I couldn't look down any further. Unless you got some gunshots, this ain't gonna scare me. The old game was fucking scary though, dude. Uh, Resident Evil 7 was a creepy ass game. And Resident Evil 2. Although I just enjoyed playing that game so much. The remake, of course. That I wasn't really too freaked out by it. I really enjoyed the way the guns felt. That's what I mean, the first half was amazing. It's definitely water dripping on loop. Yeah. This end this whole end sequence is playing too hard on like trying to have some kind of significant emotional push or sense of like morality. And and it feels so empty. Like this this game might as well I don't know what happened, but I didn't see it. This game might as well just have a flash on the screen. War is bad. Killing people as a cop is bad, which of course it is. All of it is. Fucking Ellis. There's there's darker things in in the background of his of his life. Uh, yeah, we've been saying that. <laughs> like it's. Let's just get to the point, dude. I feel like somebody was like, wouldn't it be cool if like this chick, like this witch, totally punished this dude for being like a bad guy? And that and then what's called the Blur Witch? Oh, dude, yeah, you want to talk about morality, I'm all for it. That's a big, open discussion. But to, like, shoehorn it in here, like, fucking... All the, all the bad things he's done. 
We don't even know. We're not even getting into it. We don't have time to even really let anything sink in. This is just like, yeah, you do some bad things, you guys. You guys know? Well, that's why he's all messed up. Okay, yeah, I've seen like a million movies. So I, I get it. Like, that seems familiar somehow. Okay. Yeah, dude. B team. Whoever fucking finished this game, give him the axe. I'm so glad I'm playing this on Game Pass. What am I missing? Any trail? Any shit? Any bullshit? The chair. The bounce. Door doesn't open. Barricaded in. This is hell. I'm in actual hell. Okay, what am I missing? What am I missing? It's gotta be something very, very stupidly simple. <laughs> I gotta watch the whole thing. Uh, okay, morality is relative to, so it's not easy to begin with. Never mind the layers of shit Ellis has to try and make him interesting. Oh, this house bit is so boring. You just know the B team. We're playing Resident Evil 7, and we're like, oh, we should make a house for our game. Yeah, 100%. Our half of a game. That's why I even brought Resident Evil 7 in my head. Was just like, it, like that water part reminded me of the uh, that part. and This close quarters shit that Resident Evil 7 did really well. Like, that shit put me on edge. Like, even when I was making fun of the family that you're, like, um, trying to hide and survive from, I was still on edge. I don't care how dorky they were. They're, they still posed a threat to me. They'd say dumb shit. I'm like, ha, that's stupid. But I was like, I also don't want to get killed by these guys. Oh, I know what to do. This is such fucking bloated bullshit, dude. How long am I gonna waste? He is here, your shadow. Yeah, me, I get it. Cool, let's fucking go. Let's go. Davy Jones, my shadow. Telling me Sea of Thieves would have been a better option. Shit. Don't look at me. What does that say? Don't look up. Calm down. Just calm down. This place is all healing up earlier and shit, now it's just getting destroyed again? Like, why, why are we doing this? I feel like I'm watching the end of uh, the third Lord of the Rings movie. Just ten endings. We don't know how to end this. Uh, although, you know, that spanned like nine hours of storytelling and many characters that needed some kind of closure versus this is just like, Ellis bad. Ellis real bad. But we don't know how to tell you all at once. 
Shut up! <laughs> Am I going the right way? Just kill Ellis, man. I'm fucking... I don't care about this guy at all. Alan Palmer. Yeah, those are good drinks. Keith Forst. It's like, uh... Tea and Sylvester lemonade. Boys. Can I look up yet? Has it told me if I can do that? Am I allowed? Or is it going to kill Let's me instantly? Go yeah, we know. They're all dead. Yeah. Because of me. I'm about to go play Spec Ops the line. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's do this. I've already been in this room. God damn it. <sighs> this exact room. I've been in this room a million times. Holy shit, please. Okay, hold on. They've been in the basement from the slime monsters, yeah, exactly. It's creatively a scene or scene homage of a house, but done badly. I don't even hate him because he's bad. He's just a cockwomble of a character and boring. 100%. I agree. Actually, it, like, you know, I love a flawed character. In fact, a character that's not flawed is boring, Ray, from Star Wars. But, um... Not when you shoehorn in just from the beginning. Well, he's a bad character. He's mad and he's gonna figure that out as he plays. Okay, so, like, give me some details. Give me some struggle of, of, you know, someone who might try and redeem themselves. Oh my god, okay. Or if they are worth. I should be playing something just sitting here kind of watching the stream, kind of surfing Amazon. Yeah, I went out there earlier and she was just sitting there staring at my stream. I was like, oh, fuck, I didn't realize I was just sitting here playing this for everybody. I assumed most people might just be listening. You remember when this was about, like, trying to find a kid? And a witch and stuff, and now I'm just walking around. Going raw. God damn it, Ellis. I, I can't do You've been over this. You're a bunny boiler. We've already been over this. Ellis is a piece of shit, and you're a bunny boiler. Try as you might, you can only do one. Alright, well, I'm just gonna take a sip of my hair. Okay. I do remember Bullet. I feel like Bullet wouldn't even be here. Even if I did save him. Yeah, see, you saying how you, how you left him? I don't even feel bad about it. It was a shit fucking uh, decision of the game. It was done bad. And I feel nothing. Because they didn't convey any relationship with that dog. Well, that's on them. This is a cheap, shoehorned in thing that I knew was going to happen as soon as I even saw a, a fucking dog in the game. What's happening? Oh, did he do bad things over in during war, too? Oh, shit. No. Ellis, no. Get a hold of yourself. This is such a waste of time. Oh my god. This is how you do not write a story. Mmm. Juicy. It's the old juicy lamp. Mmm. Uh, again, bad is relative. To a fly, a spider is evil. I love bad characters when they actually have character. Agreed, Sam. I'm in a cage of my own emotions, Ellis. Was that, like a Linkin Park lyric? 
And this whole like invisible entity thing is just like such a cheap thing because it's for it's they don't have to make enemies. They make like a zone development, and if you look at that zone or get near that zone, it just can kill you. And then you have to start over again. They don't have to put in animations. They don't have to put in AI for characters. They just have to show you on there a picture of fucking a dude there, and it's just a cheap way for them to have enemies without putting work in. Who are you, Ellis? I don't care, dude. I don't care. I saw him before. I'm waiting for you. I don't give a fuck. Let's do whatever the hell we're gonna do. You look, you dead. Is that what's <laughs> You look, you dead. I love it. Where am I supposed to walk, though? I'm not looking. I know, I didn't look at it. I'm just following the trail like I'm supposed to. <laughs> the amount of asset reuse in this house seen alone has been criminal. Dude, this is a third of the game, I feel like. And it's been doing... Um, just the same shit looped. And this is horse shit, because I can't look to see where the guy's at. Sounds familiar. He almost sounds like Troy Baker, but I'm not sure. I can't go through this. This is so boring. I feel like I'm playing like some like indie made like stealth game on Steam right now. Like don't get spotted by the the demons. I already did this, I think. I didn't want to end this game just bitching about it. This sucks. Is that the sheriff? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe it's all the people I've killed. It's like that scene in Metal Gear Solid 3 when you're going down the river and everyone you've killed is just there. Get in the corner. Don't look at her. in the corners now. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? fuck? Is this not the corner? Oh, you gotta fight it. Behind you. Come on. Come on, look at Shut me. Up. Stop! Steve, no, fuck
That's a dumb, boring picture. It means nothing. You're wasting my time, Blur Witch. Oh my god, we're gonna prolong this with some stupid effects now? Dude, come on, let's fucking go. What do you got? Let's do it. Bald kid running around. Oh, you killed an innocent person in war. That's awful and evil. Yes, we all agree. But you haven't elaborated on his experience or journey with that. I'm so sick of this house. I thought I was getting sick of the, uh, the forest. Ew, that's chunky. That's chunky, baby. I gotta look at it. The chocolate. Okay, so I've looked at Google Maps, and North Ireland's a really, really small place, and then he's told me a lot about that place, and I've zoomed in on those maps, and those towns are pretty small, and those roads are pretty thin. So, all that said, I 100% believe that when Almixi says, they don't call me the fastest Google search in the north for nothing, I 100% believe that statement. I think that's real. I think he actually might have a badge or some kind of belt, like a big WWE belt that says that. There's a lot of just random bald boyos running around this place. I know, this. I feel like this is um, um, an advert for uh, for hymns or whatever the fuck that one balding shit is. I think I should be like, oh, are you are you going into your 30s? It's, uh, what the fuck? It's like five out of seven men lose their hair in their 30s. Fucking don't be one of them. Don't be running from the baldness, witch. What? What? Who cares? I have a laminated lanyard. See? They gotta give you something for it. Pretty much, that's what this whole game is. They're like, you know what's scary? Losing your hair. Here's six hours of uh, building up to that kid lost his hair. Do you want to be him? No, you won't. You're not killing anybody else. You're a pussy. You're a big old weak pussy. You're pathetic. This game's bringing out my rage. Oh, look. The scratch on the screen from earlier that you're talking about, it's flashing. Oh, man, we're going down to the basement again, dude. Well, I'm not done with you. Huh? Damn, I'm like a god now. Look at this. Just breaking shit with my mind. See, that guy escaped without anything bad happening to him. He used Rogaine. That kid used Rogaine. Nothing bad will happen to him. He's not stuck in this house forever. The house of Balden. Dying ice cream. Oh, shit. 
Come on, just come on, give me the end. Just give me it. Ellis dies. Ellis doesn't die. He learns a lesson. The Blair Witch lives on. And will be there to haunt another troubled fucking dude. To the basement again. What the hell just happened? Dude, you and me both. My hair's falling out right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame the the devs for this. I'm finally here. You've been here, dude. You've been in this fucking room like eight times. Peter. Peter, where are you? Dude, let's find out. I'm, I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Please. This is the curse of the Blair Witch. I'm going insane right now. Like, literally, in real life. Let's just go. I don't care. Open this shit. Open it. Break it. I don't care. Fuck. He's not here. What now? Don't prolong this, please. Just let him be here. I don't care if I die. I'm gonna be some... No. The kid would be waiting here for you. No. So you can save him and go home a hero. No one's gonna turn around here and something will happen in the yeah. Where are you, motherfucker? Show yourself! I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands. And after what you've done, I'm gonna enjoy it! You know, I'd say that's a nitpick, but I'll give it to you. Yank that out of thin air. So what was that guy doing this whole time I've been freaking out in this house? Oh no, we gotta crawl. Ah, so confined, so scary. Ah. Uh, that's a better alternative than what he's doing now. No, 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 please, 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 please. I'm not gonna hurt you. Shush, shush, no, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. Please, 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 please. Children. He probably ghosted you with acid when he struggle cuddled you and then sat in a room watching you on camera and having a bad trip freaking out around his grand old house. Probably. Probably what happened. This is really pretty good actually. Oh for fuck's sake, I've seen this coming here. Oh fuck you game. Yeah. And it's you! <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> that animation was bad. Else gave in to his rage and despair. The cycle continues. Carver was born again. Despite his injuries, Bullet survived. He was later found wandering outside the Shannon's house. Jess cut all her ties with Ellis after learning of his fate. She didn't say a word. Peter's fate remains unknown. Oh my god. With no clue to its whereabouts, Sheriff's body was never recovered from the Black Hills Forest. I'm fucking getting angry here, <laughs> Todd. McKinnon's body was found months later in the Tappy East Creek Sawmill, so Rotten was nearly beyond identification. Are you, oh my god, are you serious? I just wasted so much time. Holy shit. That game kind of was getting me. And then this happens. I was hoping to be wrong about everything. What a fucking waste of time. Why is this the Blair Witch? I will be doing, or at least mentioning in an episode sooner or later, to uh, try and save people from spending money on this. I don't know. Same question. I'm seeing a lot of names that seem Eastern European like Polish or something. So maybe it was a bad translation. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for the song. Yeah, that, that, I, oh my god, dude. Um. Blair Witch. Horror Review. Let me, let me bring you guys over with me. These guys? Yeah. Blair Witch is a harrowing walk in the woods that deserves a spot in the horror game pantheon alongside Amnesia and Silent Hill and their like. IGN, I've 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 hated IGN for years. I think they've gotten worse, and I've been saying for a long time that they do not represent gaming at all. This is fucking it. They gave it an 8.8, .8, almost a fucking nine, and they're trying to compare it to Amnesia and Silent Hill. Why? It wasn't scary, and that's subjective, of course, but even when a game is scary for most people and um, it doesn't do much for me, I can still understand why. I get it. 
that game was garbage. And then the storyline was fucking stupid, predictable, everything about it. There's so many Deus Ex Machinas. There was no resolution. The Blair Witch was non-existent, aside from there was a person's voice in your head who was a female. Uh, QA would be localized. This game just literally fell apart at the halfway point. I wonder what all the outcomes can be. Holy shit, there's no way anyone passionate about games could play that full game and think that. It's because people who work for IGN and GameSpot and all those other companies, Kotaku, these people actually aren't like really into video games. They just fucking moved over because... Um, they wanted to get into, like, journalism or whatever the fuck, and this was the second best thing to them. This is insane, though. This is so, like, even if you did like this game, if, you, if anybody watched this after the stream, or is watching this during the stream, and you liked that, I won't at, at all tell you you're wrong. That's, of course, subjective. But can you ask yourself, and answer me honestly, would you give that game an 8.8? 8? 8.8, .8, close to 9. 10's like, for most people, the perfect game. I, it's almost impossible for me to give any game a 10. A 9 is a really fucking good game. Really good. Like, excels above almost every game that has ever existed, ever. Ever. And it's 8.8. .8. Crazy. FYI, if you're unsure and you don't want to buy it, you can play it on Game Pass. This was a day one Game Pass game. I have Gears 5 preloaded, by the way. I'm not a Gears guy, but I saw it on there and I was like, I'll check it out. I'm like, like angry right now. Uh, first half uh, had a bit going for it. Yeah, I wasn't angry when I was playing that part. As soon as Carver got introduced, I was like, this is stupid. And, and especially how they're like, oh, Carver's a different character. That's a different dude. You fucking... And then I was like, D you just, it's just... And then you end up becoming him. Like, it's, it's fucking dumb. Uh, it barely scratches a 5 for me. Yeah, I wouldn't give it a 5. I'd give it a 3. And that's mostly because of the beginning. I'm sure if I had time to sit and pick it apart, it would be lower. And now we know why it's free. I feel robbed. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't buy it. Like like I said, I saw it originally. I was like, that's that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try it. And then I saw the Gamescom footage. I was like, that was like shit. And then I saw the Game Pass thing. I was like, oh, I don't have to buy it. Played it today, this whole playthrough. And I'm like, ah, this isn't so bad. I'm glad I didn't buy it, but I'm still you know enjoying playing it. It's got some interesting things to it. And then as soon as the Carver thing and the dog thing started, I'm like, this is getting so forced and stupid. It's ridiculous. And that end part was a fucking insult to me. It's literally like somebody spit in my face and like was expecting me to say thank you. Where's game spot? Eight point eight. It's crazy. IGN. They haven't even reviewed it yet? They didn't have the time that I took today to just walk through it real fast. Hmm. Blair Witch review. The Blair Witch is scary, but the bugs are scarier. Pros. Loyal dog makes for fun gameplay. No, it didn't. Some great uh, psychological horror elements. No, there wasn't. Buggy with a few dodgy gameplay aspects. 100%. Some visual elements confused rather than scare. I don't know what they're talking about specifically, but maybe. Cursed with gameplay bugs. Bugs are scary. These people really got pissed about those bugs. I could have looked past that easy. Three. Three out of five? Fuck you. It was so expected. Everything about it. And it wasn't even, like, a good payoff. Oh, God. Walking around in circles. Yeah, dude. This game was just walking in circles. Even every zone was just a loop. Um, we should stream Gears 5 campaign and co-op. I Yeah, I mean, I, I'd be down. I don't have any affinity for Gears, and I haven't really played 2, 3, or 4. So... 
I just downloaded it because I was like, eh, I'm curious. It looks kind of cool. It was a classic bait and switch. What did you guys grade this? A seven? A search for missing boy gets weird as a hunt goes deeper into the haunted forest from the Blair Witch films. Aside from a great ending section, filled with trippy effects, the bulk of Blair Witch does a serviceable job in the visuals department. The soundscape is fairly sparse overall, which makes musical st stingers and other moments pop all the more. I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. You're only armed with a camera and a flashlight, which explains the emphasis on stealth. What's stealth? It's just don't walk into the bad area. Enemy sight lines are poorly communicated. Agreed. And encounters can be more frustrating than freaky. Agreed. Player Witch does a good job capturing the sensation of getting lost, something I actively try to avoid. A memorable final act partially redeems the tedium of getting to the point. No, I don't agree. Moderately low replay value. Agreed. Oh, it's the same people who made Layer of, Layer of Fear? I thought it was Layers of Fear. I don't remember. Isn't there a second one of that coming out that people are stoked about? No. No, it's not. The first movie was boring until some parts, but it wasn't bad. They don't do a rating or grade or anything. Though it lacks polish, pacing problems, and predictable story make it difficult to recommend uh, unreservedly. Blair Witch is not, nonetheless packed with a number of successful scares. The gunshot scared me. It's because I wasn't expecting a gunshot. And memorable set pieces that draw admirably on the franchise's lore. And oh, do I love that dog. Why? The dog didn't do anything. It didn't, it fucking, the seek feature doesn't work. You can pet it, which is cool. But it's just, it's just pixels. There's no personality. There's no moment in that game that, like connected you with the dog never did anything fun or interesting you didn't have any moments with it and they just killed it off fucking like um like disrespectfully it was just like well i'm just gonna run around that corner now he's gonna die okay uh, this is proof that traditional games journalism is biased and, and useless and it has been this is like a fucking, like a mental war I'm fighting with this shit when I think about it. Like, they're so useless. They're so unneeded. No one cares about gaming journalism. Except for, like, casuals. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't get uh, why they exist. Anyone watching this after the fact, you guys are getting, like, a full fucking episode of a playthrough and then deconstruction of uh, it. All endings. Oh, there's four endings. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. I'm like in a bad mood right now. Oh my god, that's funny. I gotta play something to, to, to lighten my mood. Um, look up all the possible outcomes, a guide or something that has the endings. We're going to watch them right here. So, uh, anybody watching this, I'm going to warn you ahead of time, we are going to watch all the endings, so if you would like to play through this on your own and experience those endings, I would skip ahead or just bail now. Three, two, one, you've been warned. <laughs> This is what you get, you fucking piece of shit! You fuck, you sick fuck, this is what you fucking, you can fucking fucking with me, you fucking piece of shit! Shut up! He said fuck more than I say fuck. I will rip your fucking heart out! That's a lot. You won't get out of it that easily! I won't let you! She always wanted you to become... Shut up! Get up! Fight! 
do what she demands. No, I'm not like you. <laughs> you are me. I'm all you've ever had. I am what you become. Never. Wow, subtle Chevy. Chevy sent me a link. It's get ad blocked. She won't let you. You can't defy her. You won't change anything. You can't. Not now. Not after all I've suffered. It's your turn. You're just her puppet. Now be a man for once, or did you forget what it's like? No! So, this is how it ends. Without ever starting. Children, I will rip your fucking heart out. You won't get out of it that easily. Free, free. I won't let you. <laughs> she always wanted you to become. Stop! I'm not like you. <laughs> you are me. I'm all you've ever had. I am what you become. Never. <laughs> you can't do it, can you? She won't let you. You can't defy her. You won't change anything. You can't. Not now. Not after all I've suffered. It's your turn. You're just her puppet. Now be a man for once, or did you forget what it's like? I don't know. That's what I was wondering. So, this is how it ends. Without ever starting. Oh god, no, I don't want to watch that shit again. <clears throat> okay, so there's two endings with tiny variables and a little cutscene of what the dog does. The dog walked away slower, I think. Okay, how is the different ending? I'm even angrier now. Must have been two endings with abandoned dog, two endings with saved dog. I would assume so, yeah, that would make sense. Also, people are saying that the text at the end is the actual ending. I guess those are all different, which is stupid sounding do they have the text parts I don't even fucking care I honestly don't give a shit I don't know who the hell this is. Is it worth a buy? Is it? 
at Three the Woods the Woods. It's 1996. Hooray, the world hasn't gone mental yet. A young boy disappears in the black. This guy is kind of scary. Oh, sorry. Burkittsville. My, Ooh, my Hunt Showdown. I need to buy that again. I bought that back in the day and then I refunded it because it had some issues. But uh, people what apparently are really liking it now. I'd really like to play that. Into an endless nightmare of glitches and boat noise as you confront your fears and the Blair Witch. A mysterious force. Why is this Varner Herzog? The woods. Yes, guys, we have a scary game and hey, I am the master scare-titian of scary games. I've survived them all. What did Silent you play Hill, this on? Amnesia, Outlast, Teletubbies. So how does this rank? Well, let's let's first look at the um, the graphicals and, and all the rest of it. Um, it's a £25 game, this. So Seriously, fuck that game. First things first, you can't read. Wait, the hey, keys. mate, no, he's a fucking Geordie, pal. Um, but, hey, there's not that many of them. So what's the problem? Well, there should be. That's the problem. Because you have a, a wheel system to command your little dog. You know a game I'm really dog, stoked I fucking skipped out on? You have a wheel system. Wolfenstein Youngblood. Blood. Inventory system as well. That game sounds isn't horrible. isn't too bad, I guess. But the one with the dog sucks. It's clunky. This whole game is clunky. Why can't we just have different keybinds for different commands? I have a keyboard. It's fucking huge. People have controllers. There's like a zillion buttons on them now. I mean, what's that? What, what that? Let us rebind them. We don't all use Wasad. Some people are disabled. They can't use Wasad. Some people are left-handed. They can't use Wasad. I mean, spare a off. thought for f**k's sake. You don't get that many graphical options considering this is a PC game. And before people say, no, it's a console game, I say, well, hang on, I'm playing it on the PC, which makes it by default a PC game. Whether it was designed for consoles is irrelevant. I'm playing it on a PC, so it's a PC game. Unfortunately, I think the person who was given the task of, of porting this to uh, PC just simply copied and pasted it and says, that'll f***ing do. You see, guys, this game runs like a 2019 police officer. You know, you've seen them walking around with arses the size of f***ing cinema screens that couldn't catch f***ing cold, let alone a f***ing criminal. Yeah, that's how this game runs, guys. Anyway, let's get on with, with the actual what game. What is it he be going on about? Glitch. That's, that's for starters. I've been stuck three times. Now, I did get out myself without having to reload from the last checkpoint, unlike some people. What I've found is, if you do play this game, um, if you crouch, stand up, crouch, stand up and wiggle around a bit, you can sometimes get out. Um, it's a shame because it, these, these things shouldn't be there. Now, as for the graphics and the sound, the, sometimes the world looks amazing and really, really scary. But your German Shepherd doesn't look that great. It, some of the, I don't know, some of the, um, the, the, the shots of the German Shepherd look a little bit off. The animations are good. Really, really good. I had a German Shepherd. Absolutely amazing dog. So it's going to be my next dog, actually. I'm getting another one. I couldn't have any other breed now that I've had a, a German Shepherd. They're just amazing dogs. And this one is very good animation-wise, but it just doesn't look... It looks a bit square-jawed at times. Um, Dead-eyed. I've seen better in games. But the, the actual game itself does look very atmospheric. And it's it, not it long looks before decent you get at some really parts. immersed in the actual surroundings that you're in. Wrap it in up. Code new 15. If you're in North America, you need to type in. Like always, if you click the link in the below this video in my description, that will take you straight All to right, Steam. Game, Let's take a look, see if there's anything in there. A bit of commission off. It's just a shame that it's not in the same league as, as Outlast, um, Amnesia. Oh, it's not even close. Um, but it but isn't, dumbass it isn't IGN. It's just not for me, guys. Thinks it's uh, up there with Silent Hill, you stupid fucks. Oh, this beautiful music. Not long enough or scary enough. Nice graphics, good music and SFX. Bugs does not run well. I didn't have that issue. Dog makes you feel secure. I didn't have that issue either. I didn't care about the dog at all. Story too short. Story fucking too shit. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
about that ad block. Yeah, I should probably do that. All right. Fuck. Look at all them eights. Yeah, he was pretty fair about it. I mean, if I was going to judge, I would give graphics probably a six or a seven. I'd give music probably about an eight. Because there are some songs in there, some ambient tracks I kind of dug. Sounds, I'd give about six or seven. Immersion, I would give about a five. Fun, I would give about a three. Because I didn't have fun. I had no, there's no fun to be had. I like how this game is supposed to be a six hour game. And right now I'm at the five hour and 30 minute mark of this stream. Which is not indicative of the gameplay I did. So it's probably a four hour game? Is that fucking legit? <laughs> okay. Should probably end the stream. Start up another one. Play something else. Let me check and see if control will piss off my power supply. Since it is a gorgeous game. I felt immersed in the first half. Even watching, which says a lot. That's why I was, like, yeah, like the immersion. It In the beginning, I, I dug it. Like when I was joking around about it being um, like a hiking simulator. Like I, I meant that in the sense of like, oh, I feel like I'm out walking through the woods. So... I'm gonna get so annoyed if my if you hear I'm gonna end the stream and then I'm gonna restart my computer. From what I've seen so far, man, it's really cool. I've just barely played it because the issues I've been having. That and Final Fantasy fourteen. Both of those are the ones that have pissed off. Um, my well, not even my computer, because like I said, I look at the temps, everything's fucking fine. I just not even having issues. It's just that power supply gets pissed. It's like we're powering too much. Um, if I do play Sea of Thieves, I'm still trying to figure out what my friend's doing, because I was supposed to go to the gym tonight. And uh, I have not heard from her. But, uh, and it's like 1 a.m., so I don't know what the hell. Um, Chevy has it. We need a lampooner. Um, let me start a new game. I kind of missed out a lot of the game in the beginning because I was trying to toy with the graphics. Nice, put it all in full. Hey, I was like, fuck it. This is going to be weirder than usual. But ray tracing looks Maybe so good. Out. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. That's me, dude. My mood. Like, I have access I to, like, all the games. Nothing. I just... Whatever I'm feeling. Like, Blair Witch? That was a mood thing. It's Otherwise, like, I wouldn't have went out my way to play that. We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, uh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. What's the other one you have access to? all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. Okay, so last time when I ran to the janitor, 
we are lying my fan kicked ourselves. on when I physically found him it's not the world the world is much bigger and much stranger oh, I should check if I have access to that because I bought that as well there's a whole I have a bunch of games on Xbox but I didn't see access to them on my uh, app we all feel safe in that room but sometimes sometimes something crawls out uh this is control poster. and the ones that see it happen freak out remedies new game guys I made Max Payne Alan Wake um quantum break Why I've been playing a little bit here? yeah it's kind of weird the my games thing so the thing that's really annoying is like, I think I have everything on max right now, but then the power supply gets pissed. Yeah, but this shit right here, I, I try and keep. I have it on DirectX 12. I have everything on high and stuff, and everything seems to be working fine. But then, like I said, power supply will be like, we need more power or something, and just turn on the stupid fan. But yeah, it's uh, I haven't played I haven't had a chance to play games with the ray tracing yet, so I've been playing this and um, when you turn it off and on it's it's really kinda crazy the amount of work or the amount of uh, detail it adds to the world. It's insane. Like see her in the window there. And her size will change. I was watching a video describing how ray tracing works, and it's essentially the viewpoint of what you're seeing to the object that's doing the effect. Ray tracing can gauge the depth of that, and it can give you effects that actually have range as opposed to a fixed effect that's happening. So it's happening in real time, whereas like rendering um, something in a mirror is typically just rendering the game again in a separate instance, and you're looking at it, versus this is actually the effect rendering where I'm at. It's really weird. And like lighting and shadows and all that shit is also being affected by it, so it's, it's really impressive. If you're into engines and how they work and stuff, which I definitely am. Like, you should be able to see me in this window. And size and shape and detail will change like it will in real life. Just like lighting, you can see it across there. Fading. I ain't reading that shit. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. No, it's um Sam Lake, I think. It's it's an action game. It's it's a game where you're gonna shoot stuff. Although this one's really trippy. There should be a my oh I already read that. Yeah, so we've been talking about ray tracing on and off on the channel just because and I wanna make a video on it, because I didn't fully get it until I started playing this and watched videos on it. Ray tracing is gonna be in the new Xbox and the new PlayStation, and they keep fucking talking about it. Um, and, uh, but they're not explaining what it is. And so, like, I still remember when a lot of different features came out, like HDR lighting, bloom lighting. I remember, you know, when a bunch of stuff, uh, um, ambient occlusion came out in engines and stuff like that. And it all adds detail. And the thing they don't really mention a whole lot, um, they just go, ray tracing, ray tracing. The new console is going to have ray tracing. And things are going to look better. I'm like, okay, but what does that mean? And it's like, see how the light on the wall is is reflecting? That's actually happening in real time. That's not an effect that's in the wall. That's uh, ray tracing being able to um, have the actual light that's happening reflect off the wall. Whereas before, you'd have to make that effect inside the wall. Um, so think like in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, when we first saw those cool, like, uh, dust effects in the air and you're walking those are actually like planted in the room the dust and you're walking through these uh, objects that are just making that dust effect and they'll just repeat there whereas like with ray tracing you can actually have um, an ambient effect that actually is dynamically changing based off of where your camera's at and where the object is so that's why we're getting that reflection in the floor Bureau in real time versus the floor actually just all these years being essentially a screen if that makes sense but it's really demanding see the shadow right there or not shadow the reflection and see right there too look to my right you can see me there as well that's ray tracing 
yeah, sorry if I'm like nerding out on this shit, but like this is the first time I've gotten to actually look at and see what it is outside of a video. And then I watched a couple videos where they described what it was, and it finally clicked to me. I'm like, oh, it's just more advanced detailing. And it affects everything. It even affects sound. Ray tracing is literally, it's called ray tracing because the ray goes from your point of view where you're at, and it's like a line, a ray, that goes directly to where you're looking at. And so it translates information just like audio, too. They said it's going to affect the way games sound as well which is really kind of interesting. Another thing too you'll notice is shadows uh, before are hard shadows. So you have an object, a lighting point, and then where the shadow's at, and then later they can add softness. So it softens the shadow. And if they wanted to, they could detail the shadow to make it fade out. Whereas with ray tracing, it will literally create an actual shadow with the fade and all that stuff dynamically based off the light um, all in real time. So it's, uh, it's really fucking impressive. Like, I wasn't excited for next gen until I finally understood this. Like, all of these details are happening dynamically. And not, like, you know, drawn out and detailed. And, like, how can we make this hallway look this way? It's just, it just does. Because now it can render that. Like, it's a full-on technology on its own. That's why in the section of the graphics, or graphics section, it had its own area that you can turn up and down. Yeah, see, this is where my fan kicked on. Here we go. Hey, excuse me. Be good. Be good. Please. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Yeah, they had to simulate before not actually have it. Exactly. I get you, it's interesting. I'm glad you find it interesting. Change the stream title, by the way. Well, I mean, again, sound can be very greatly in negative space, like shooting in a tunnel. It sounds like a big step. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, I'm just puking this all up because I finally just got it. It finally clicked. I'm like, oh, I understand now. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Yeah, so far I've been playing this game and it, uh, it, it's almost like a Metroidvania game. It's weird. This building, like, transforms and stuff as you're going through it. I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Yeah, it's 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 interesting because um, it'll it's 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 a technology, so you can implement it into other things. They just put it into it Minecraft, and it makes Minecraft look really mind. good. And it's weird because it still looks like Minecraft. But the lighting is like amazing. Seven it's all dynamic and actually going through the trees and stuff. This game also has a really cool uh, visual style to it, especially like when you enter new areas and stuff. It just says in bold letters the the place you're at and Shit. stuff. 
Frank Jen wonders like The Witcher and all. That'd be amazing to see The Witcher with ray tracing. You want me to pick it up? The motor like even racing get... games really? like Need for Speed, the reflections on the cars and windows is going to be so good. No, seriously, especially uh, from like if you do like a first person mode in the cockpit of like a jet or like a car, obviously. I'm talking about a game that's not a racing game with a jet. But um, to be able to see the light dynamically move across the, the dash and stuff while driving will look really good. Especially because racing, like a, right next to shooters, like first person shooters, racing games are always at the forefront of graphics. Um, so you're definitely going to see Something's it in that. Outside. Oh, I was coming here a mistake. Turn around at the door. And there goes the poster. Yes, yeah, we're doing this game. The gun doesn't reload. You have to let it recharge. So you can add things to it. Upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. I think also, what is it? Ghost Recon Breakpoint? Breaking Point, where the fuck it's called? I think that's supposed to have ray tracing as well. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? Oh, Oh god. The same gun. Okay. Now I, I do not like V being Melee. Yeah, and later you get like cool powers too. I only got a little far further into the game, but you can like pick up most objects and chuck them. Pardon, pardon. Oh, shit. Apparently, because this, this game is really fucking confusing, but apparently it ends up making sense. Like, a lot of people are reviewing this game really well, which is nice to hear because Quantum Break did not do well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your chick ends up getting, like, all sorts of shit. Like I said, I, I saw videos of her, like, floating and flying, and then I got moves where I could pick up stuff and throw it. You'll see. I understood every word. Gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Oh, this game looks so good. I love it. You can't let this happen. 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 
You stopped it. Check his office door. Okay. You. Thank you. That was. Horror. She also looked like she had uh, contacts in. This door? See, even it's reflecting my shadow. I mean, that's that's crazy. Or reflecting me, not my shadow. You know what I'm saying? Like every surface that has any kind of like shininess to it. what it was like in different textures and materials yeah I mean I didn't I didn't look into that so it is kind of cool to see that it's just it's just crazy because like before if you're gonna render that on all these different types of um, surfaces you would have to do that individually to have a have a um, technology that just does that just understands that uh, you know it's really an advancement in graphics for sure so Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, dude, when I was running and, like, the bolts were flying through, that looked really good. I just didn't have time to think about it, because I was just like, ah, I'm getting shot at. Uh, okay. Looks realistic because your reflection in copper is distorted. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying, too. Like, it's neat that it even has a reflection. I wouldn't expect it to have that with most games. Uh, no cover system. Not that I see, although there's a duck. I'd say it plays very much like other Remedy games. It feels just like Max Payne and fucking Alan Wake. It plays just the same, pretty much. They, I mean, they definitely have a style to the way their games play. Bullet Dodger without trying. Uh, nice glass physics too. Yeah, I just that was really impressive looking. This whole game's just been like a, a treat to look at, and it's fun. So. <coughs> and then I believe. These allow you to mod energy recovery speed plus 15%. I don't have anything for that. And you can break them down too. Like I said, I played a little bit before, but I was so busy trying to get the game to run without that fucking fan going. I didn't really get to enjoy it. It's got such a cool, like, almost like 70s style to it. Like, this building seems old. The hissing sound that tried to evade me earlier. The 
this. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the Hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Two rooms with points in them. Yeah, this game though, like I said, it's like a Metroidvania, so you go back and forth a lot. So if I miss something, I'll find it later. Help me fix it. Yeah, a lot of poured concrete and laminate wood. Definitely know it's a government building with all the gray. Yeah. And every time you cleanse a room, like it resets, which is weird. happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. Red Dead Redemption 2 with this tech on would be incredible with its huge draw distance and all. You Dude, seriously, because that game already looks amazing. Oh, Even Grand Theft Auto 5, both out. those games, the ray tracing would be insane. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're fucking into it, because, like like I said, I, it's, ever since I played this, I was like, oh shit, I get it. Call me Jesse. This is so cool. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile... And this is the big thing outside of um, uh, faster load times on the new consoles somehow that's, like, the big selling thing. I don't, I don't think they're doing a good job like uh, discussing ray tracing, though. The hiss. Like the sound of They're just trying to sell it to you, like saying this TV's really HD. It's like, okay, well, what does that mean? It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone, not protected by an HRA, and extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. There's really there subtle somewhere. movements in their Still faces. Somewhere. They did a good job on mo-capping. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and 
We probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Look at the dust particles inside the light shafts. Okay. Yeah. Are you with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. Executive, central executive. Wait, so... How are you hiding in here? Nothing. I can fast travel. There's outfits? Not for me yet. So where am I supposed to head? what it's gonna do for I is gonna be so lifelike now with the reflection tech and light use. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna be able to get depth and stuff that's gonna go through. Even, like, skin will, like, they've already made technology to, like, uh, illuminate with, uh, our skin illuminates with, like, lighting on and stuff like that, but you're gonna be able to do it so much easier and better now. <sighs> okay, I need to find out where the fuck that is. hometown ordinary 17 years ago the bureau came in and covered the whole thing up i've been looking for this place for a long time that's enough maybe that's too much already i can't tell her about dylan and the rest yet i've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary you were at ground zero as a child it was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the I think he told me to check that out before, or I've heard of it before. 
Because that, I'm having like years of experience. Deja vu right know now. How to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. Oh we'll shit! It's Bohemia open. Interactive that makes it. Okay, that's my next. Step. I'm already sold. I know what it is. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Is it out? And what's it on? They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. Dude, I love Bohemia Interactive. I'm not fucking... looking for proof. This sounds this cool. Is, what, uh, is it out? Than enough. No matter what they told me all those it's years. Out free. I is it on PC? It's real now. It's Xbox. I didn't imagine this. Only? I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy. He was playing control yesterday. I think Gears 5 comes out on the 9th. And because that's not like a high profile game for me, I'll just like. Just Xbox. What? Why? Uh, okay, hold on just a second. I'm almost annoyed it's only on Xbox. Anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. Uh, they where do babies come open. from? Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. I want my psychic powers. Enter the communications department to find the hotline. Communications department. Oh, it's on the 6th? I thought it was on the 9th. It's like Game Pass at 9th. Maybe I just have the 9 flipped upside down. Or the 6. There it is again. Our welcome message. Health recovery on element pickup. Mm, mm, mm. Eh, we'll see. And Greedful. Yeah. I've been kind of skating by not picking up games lately, except for this. I bought this, and I think uh, Fire Emblem, I think it was the other game I picked up recently. And by recent, I mean like within a month. But uh, otherwise, I've been kind of skipping over games, which has been kind of nice, but there's some games coming up. Give me something good. Energy recovery speed. Better than what I got. What's the other one? I can get rid of that, right? F. I don't know what that does, but we'll find out. Alright, motherfuckers. Who wants, who wants a piece? I didn't notice they were moving. That's creepy. supposed to go into the red. Okay. Hopefully it's got a fair checkpoint. <laughs> September's gonna be busy. Yeah, I, I knew as we got near September and into the beginning of next year, it's gonna get stupid. So, it seems like the beginning and the end of the year is where things get uh, dumb. Did I not get to keep the thing I got? Oh, that's generous of them. Alright, 
do not walk in the red. Gotcha. Loud and clear. If you've seen to Seth, but CD Projekt Red confirmed a new Witcher game. I heard they're working on one, but I didn't know they confirmed it. Have they said anything about it? Tiles fired plus two? Wait, why didn't it work? Exclusive to sh Oh, it's a different gun. I think the gun like transforms into a different gun. That's weird I got that attachment that early on. Damage after a kill. Plus 34%. Jesus Christ, that's a... That's an increase. Stuck on me. Uh, no specifics, just confirmed they're going to do another one. I mean, it's impossible for them not to do that, especially as we're getting closer to Cyberpunk coming out. They're definitely going to start talking or working on another game, and you could totally do a game in that universe. Vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. 
a receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was... Shift crash and sign uses a makeshift power armor. It's an object of power. Just a turtle okay. with a gun. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Oh, I know you can launch more than that. Give me it. Give me the power. Never get through communications department. Communications. We're on the right track. Damn, those toilets are fucked up. Can you go upstairs? No. Man, give me all sorts of shit I want. The disc itself is fucking shooting all that shit. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Power of the floppy disk. I'm now a god. There you are. You were gone. 
cut off. I got it. Oh shit. That ain't too bad. Proceed through the communications department. Why do your throne things sound like TIE fighters? It's godly 84 kilobytes of storage. <laughs> 85 kilobytes of fucking telekinesis. Uh, I don't know about the TIE Fighter thing, but, uh, look at the tiles right here. This looks fucking good. Um, I don't know, but I like TIE Fighters. I like the sound of them, so I'm not too, too upset by that. Give me stuff. Damage while low on health. Do I want more damage when I kill things, which I'm going to be doing 100%, or at the chance that I am low on health, I will kill them faster. I think I'm more effective if I just do more damage if I kill things. I don't plan on being low on health a lot. Sorry, dude. Did these blow up? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Locked. Maybe there's a key nearby. This must open the door. engine they're using because the physics are pretty decent they're a little loose but they're definitely like there's a lot of physics going on at once everything in this room can move which takes a lot to render can't unhear it now blood reflections and it's hard to tell from this angle damn he's moving too he's got physics on it looks like it I don't know, we'll have to find a better example. I mean, yeah, it seems like it. I can see her. Uh, what's up, dude? Throw shit too? That's not fair. I don't know where that shit's coming from, but I'll take it. That guy got fucked. Kind of 
Kind of, yeah. Grenades, huh? Oh, bitch. Fighters in different pitches. I have a feeling he'll be back. Unless so blue focused. things give health. That Makes one sense. Should be past the mail room. Ooh. Fucking is crazy looking. Personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of or course, they may also stop. damage their cellular walls, but you can't blame that on some stupid noise guns. <laughs> Thank God, no local doctors examine them first. Inside a U.S. embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier. To... Oh wow, there's actually weight to that. You can see it going back and forth. Take this down. Oh, okay. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant I'm liking this game so far. Yeah, me too, even though I'm not sure what the fuck's going on. Yeah, it's been getting really good reviews from, like, everyone. Um, which is nice, because like I said, I liked Quantum Break, but it wasn't like, it wasn't. If someone's like, I don't like it, I'm not going to be like, what? I'm just like, yeah, I get it. But, uh... Other than that, you know, Alan Wake, I think, is one of the most underrated games out there. And Max Payne, of course, I love. So, you know, whenever these guys make a game, I definitely want to play it. But I just want people to love it. And so far, people have been saying really good things about this. Wait, I can... Whoa. Okay. Let me just take that seat. See if you can. Oh, go back and get in your power armor. See if you can. Uh, if I come across power armor again, I will, I will fucking slip on in like a struggle cuddle. Well, shit. Okay, my bad. I'm so glad I didn't get this on PS4. Dream logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with a black pyramid. There's one back there? Here's some power armor right here. I wonder if this would actually work.
great episodes and games. What's up, dude? I apologize if you're here for Blair Witch. That uh, that already happened. <laughs> I already played the the whole thing of that. I should probably change that shit. All right. Remind me later, and I will try and and test the theory on that thing. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream oh see this is a great example of of the tech see how the shadow's big here a lot of games it would always be fixed but in this it actually is stretching out as i get closer to the lighting point Really cool. I mean, obviously that's shit that would happen in real life, but a lot of games, it's not gonna look like that. It's just gonna be on the floor with me. So they can make a game where you're using random tables and shit as, as a turtle shell armor? That's what I want to see. I want to see it like how it renders in like natural environments. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I definitely have opinions on them. I don't know if jealousy is part of it. Oh yeah. It has a black pyramid on it. Hey, I saw a black pyramid earlier. Is that the only door that opens? Yep. Agreed, they are. I just favor my opinion over most. And I would encourage other people to think the same. Not about my opinion, although that'd be great too, but people should give a shit about their opinions and less about others. Yeah, that made sense. Oh shit, Whoa. complete the astral plane challenge. If there's one thing I'm great at, it's astral plane challenges, as I almost walk off a cliff. Uh, what is that? I don't know if I'm hurting it. Hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. I don't know if I want to. That doesn't look friendly. doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, 
under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Got a little bit of something going on there. Hotline. I can reach Trench. Listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. I don't like this room. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The Hiss got him. I got some for him. Oh, I like those physics. Who wants it? You do? Oh my god, okay, what the fuck is that? To, but apparently he had some crazy fucking grenade launcher. Alright, where's your boy at? Where's the other one? Someone's shooting at me from over there. Kill both of them? Nice. And the game control. Yeah, this is control. I really need to get in there and, ch and switch that shit over. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now, real quick. I wasn't intending on continuing the stream uh, like this. But I will. Just because I'm here, fuck it. I had plans, but those plans did not happen. All night. Oh no. And then. This one. It's actually your fault. It was an explosive barrel and he threw it into the pillar right in front of you. Which which one? When? At what part? What are we talking about? Um, there it is. Control. Um.
Yeah, I'm playing mole control, dog. Crazy, just break shit as it flies, too. Uh, where the fuck was I going? Speak with Emily. Where was she at again? I need some signs. Where's some signs at? Give me some signs. Give me a sign. Mail room. Did I go in here already? Nope. That is the one thing, though. The whole throwing the thing into something is when you when you're holding it, you can't swap your shoulder anymore. It's just directly ahead of you. So it's kind of hard to see if you're gonna hit or not. Whereas, like, if you're aiming your gun, you can fucking move to left and right, but also will turn orange when you are for sure gonna hit him. She's still in here. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss. Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Yeah, let me just hop on the table real quick. Let's talk. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trent is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Yeah. Oh yeah, I turn my Xbox on. I'm annoyed that that's only on Xbox. Why? Well, I bitch about exclusives all the time. And now I'm angry.
Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the nearest control point. Okay. Hi, Jesse. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Yeah. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the Bureau Headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but re unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Okay, there we go. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Yeah. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these... Which would be cool. I want a, a fucking spirit toaster. I wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. This is actually a game that the wars actually, actually interests me. Do you hear that? Kind of rare. Where is it coming from? Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Pope wants us to get a field lab set up as soon as possible. We can't get any equipment from the research sector until the internal lockdown is lifted. And see what you can find. all this milestone rewards use three to unlock additional weapon form slot i have four of these so why i just buy all four of them wait uh oh hmm additional weapon form slot weapon forms oh i think i know it's the well i guess i'm done here Astral constructs? What the fuck is this?
Uh, what is all this shit? Construct a random weapon. Mo oh, this is, you can make new mods. That's cool. How about upgrade? Uh, I'll come back to this later. Wait, I can't Doctor leave? Please. Okay. Wow, there's actually a lot of shit to this. Um, kill enemies without dying. You would need to do replaceable. Kill 50, is that like just in general? Kill his guards, kill enemies using melee. Five of them, that ain't bad. Using grip, kill enemies with headshots, kill enemies with service weapon in any mode. I mean, that's easy enough. We'll just do that real quick. Can you do all of them? Oh, only three at a time, okay. Weird. Okay, so... How do I switch? David Cage feels. Search for a way into the maintenance sector. Where is it? Where's it going? Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Yeah, I guess. Press F between two equipped service weapon forms. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Shit, okay. Um, enemy armor, that's pretty useful. But so is an extra projectile fire. Let's check that one out. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. I'm assuming this is like a shotgun. Maybe it was you. Like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Very dangerous. Should not be doing that. Got a shotgun the for you. Override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? Through those guys.
What time is it there? Let me shoot more people. Can't shoot through it, okay. Headshot something. Headshot damage. Ooh, that's that's pretty cool. Even though this is still seems better. I'll try it. Wait, what was the assets? Uh materials again. Okay. Cool. Seemed unsafe. What's down that way? I don't know. One thing at a time. He's got a poster of himself. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yep. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, ah, ah. You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus von Berkele swore out that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tight. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. 
trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. Well, don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna threaten. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back what? leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Yeah. Launch energy energy cost. Question. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't even know you could, you could dodge. Oh, shit. Okay, where are we going now? Oh. Do I have two of that now?
Uh, this place is fucking big. Nothing. Okay. Like cleanse this shit. Uh, I guess I'll come back. Where the hell that is? Did I check in here? I feel. I think I did. Yeah. Alright, onward. Does not open. Already been here. So I guess the only place I can go, aside from back, is in the back door. Very Dark Souls esque. I got two things? What is this? Energy gain from headshots. Headshot damage. I... Wait, what was the other thing I got? all up and cool. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Directors and too deep. Keep the lights on.
Then go talk with Chief Arish in the security booth. He's in charge here. Guy in LA Noir. Threshold remnant, what the fuck is that? same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Well, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but... Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a barman. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this piggy blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. What's your read on all this? Uh, the energy conversion global will be acceptable percentage. Internal pressure's pumping so fast, I'm amazed the NSC is still open. When it blows, we're all going away. Oh, thanks, Frank. Real positive. in pipe C through F. Is the clock back? Now? Oh, man. How do you... When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a halt. Hmm. I should be going. You got a lot to Not too interested in all that shit. Alright, I think I'm going to end this stream. Anybody still watching? Thanks for watching. Anybody watching this after the fact? Hopefully you enjoyed this long ass stream i will attempt to continue to play this game on stream but we'll see what happens i don't know what i'm gonna be playing next i'm also gonna try and download that bigger game i'm kind of curious about that um yeah as always thanks for watching and uh oh my god i'm gonna quit the fuck out of this hopefully that auto saved i didn't i didn't look into that but yeah until the next stream which should be very soon have a good one, guys, and uh, hopefully I can fix how dark this is. Uh, yeah.